Berserk? No, I know of Berserk. I don't know. I We're gonna get into that later. Yeah, but buddy, that's yeah. not. That's not. Yeah. That's not a it's table. Is that, is, that an, is that an ode to? Or <laughs> uh, both ode to. I want it. I'm excited about the actual ending and if that, his best friend actually does a great job with it. <laughs> and I really relate. To, let's both do it. Oh, I really buddy. relate to like having a family. You're gonna get sad on. Come mm -hmm. here. So I. Uh, I really love that story down to my core. And to be honest, I'm religious. So, like, my whole religion of, like, I'm fine with being sacrificed. Yep. So. Um, I saw this uh, interpretation that had uh, interpreted Hi. Odin as Jesus. It was fun. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were alive, so I had to do something weird. Oh, no, my gosh. I, I, I was going to catch us, and that's how I was going to go, because we're uh, we're already a week behind. Let's do it. Um, uh, yeah, if you guys want uh, Baja Blast... Or, or like the a, mango the flavor mango one yeah. in the fridge. Oh, wow. uh, yeah. Sea greens are sea greens and fat tire are also in the fridge. Uh, so guys, not there yet. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was start strong. We gotta recap I was gonna start really first. strong. I know, right? I, I need I need to I need to do some oh, I need to do some some introductions. I know, like, we're just, um, sorry for the late delay. Um, you know, everyone had to come in, get into their seats, talk a little bit. Uh, last week sucked. Everyone had some life situations come down, and we were not all very happy with it. Um, but it gave us a week off. We cooled down. Everyone's here. Everyone's playing, which is great. So I apologize for the lack of content last week. Um, today, we hope to remedy that with some serious story as we go into maybe the last arc of campaign one, and we shall see where this goes. I don't believe this. What's the name of this arc, then? I'm putting this. you on the spot. What's the name of this arc? Name our final arc. I don't believe that. I don't Redeemers believe that. of Light. I don't believe that. Redeemers of Light. I don't believe that. Bro. Bro. <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> <laughs> All I see is he, he just goes... I love it when Dodo and I have our little moments, and then you guys are like, wait, what? Because <laughs> <laughs> I just see him looking, and, and you're staring, and I didn't see him drinking, he just goes, like, You said you see this? I don't believe it. He's pointing to the it's alcohol. I take it out of all. He goes, I don't believe it. It's too sweet. Real quick, whatever, this, but. This, this actually tastes good. It can't contain alcohol. Seagram is pretty, Seagram is dangerous, especially when you spike it. <laughs> all right. Uh, in our last episode, as we go through a quick... Uh, rewind. Our group, after making repairs to the Sunsetter and the Argonaut, uh, find that their ship lists to one side as Holga, formerly Selene, has reappeared at random within the decks of the ship. They find that he is not in the best con of condition and asks ask them for their continued assistance with his gold. This procs a deep conversation as to what do they do after they have... We never even figured out what's happening with Slane. Recovered. Yeah, with I... Recovered the... What is quintessentially the god part. As with energy in all worlds, it is yeah. never destroyed. It is simply transformed and in a different location. But they came to a agreement that they need to focus more so on what they can adjust to, being cathedral and the major issues there. I love you. Uh, Nuxenor, along with Dracaria, you two have found that the reason being for Holgoth's degenerated appearance is he has a lack of magical power. He is focusing his own internal energy, his own internal magic, into the seal at the base of your ship, keeping the seal active and running. Sure. But it is apparently taking its toll on him. Only the two of you were able to figure this out. Um, but we jump into our story fairly soon after. 
as with everyone understanding and trying to come to grips with what needs to be done. The two ships hang just above uh, the the I, I can't read my own writing when it's at that angle. <laughs> Veins ah, the veins flow. Veins flow. Still, no one has a the river just outside of the heat oh, pass, is... and above the a small town. Uh, repairs to both ships have been completed. Argos is making way to set uh, set his ship to go down to Cathedral. Where are you guys going to go? Uh, what is your plan for the foreseeable future? Hey guys, mm -hmm. we got two things to do. Mm -hmm. One, <laughs> the ancient dragons have a trip to make. Where? Well, I think you know more than I do. What? Second. Excuse me. We still need to get you can't this. Can't just move sky on to rail. second with that statement there. Ma'am, the second Don't thing is- Don't ma'am me. I, do I way, look like a ma'am? I mean, you physically I wise, you are- like Oh, you are not older than me. Never mind. Child, see, what do you like better? Don't make me spark you. I do not have the armor anymore. Doesn't matter. I can still make you scared. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> We still need to get a sky whale. Why? What do you mean? Our plan was to cr come down on Cathedral with a sky whale. Well, Holgov killed it, and it landed on the mountains, so that's not possible? You think that's only just one? Well, that size, yes. But, like, why do we need a sky whale? What if you're, like, thinking about that mating call? Just, like, call the mole. I just kind of... I mean, talk to him. H have you ever heard of Sky Whale before? Is that something that I ever would have heard before? <laughs> um, the concept of Sky Whales was a fairly new discovery, uh, even amongst your groups, as no one's ventured skyward in the ship. That's true. Hey, so, hey, do the call. D do what call? Um, do the sky call. Whale, sky Whales have, a, fair, have, a, have a, a bellow call, similar to actual blue whales. Um, as, yeah. you traveling, uh, as you were traveling, as you were traveling your first time through uh, the clouds and actually encountered some, um, it's fairly easy to re uh, to re mimic. I will ask you for a quick wisdom check to remember. Can, can you also give your best whale sound? Oh yeah, thank you. I got, I got to see how Dory. well I do with it to see how well I can okay, actually okay. do. Yeah, uh, you need a, a wisdom yeah. check. This you need a wisdom a check. You're trying to remember. It's been, uh, there's been plenty of drunken nights. Can I give you, a, I, like, a, a, a advantage, which, like, it was like a, it was like a... <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, it was that, not advantage, sorry. It was not good enough. In that case, uh... <laughs> Wait, let me try again. <gasps> Hold on. I can't remember if I used a bunch of my uh, luck points last time, or... I did not. Sick. Yeah, I'm just gonna burn a luck point for that. That's worth it. <laughs> Nat 20. Nice. I will take that. That is nice. lucky. <laughs> you're like, stop. I, wrote, I went from a three to... So you're just like, eh, and I'm like, oh, you're doing like the... As you like bellow out this call, yeah. you weren't anticipating how loud it was and how <laughs> basial it was. Like, controlling my hands around it, too, so that you, it's you like... Somehow, you somehow <laughs> narrow your beat just enough and flex your diaphragm in a certain it. kind of way that the bass from your normal high mimicky voice just goes into a, a straight baritone and rattles the boat. As, as, as it just it emanates outward and echoes the sh the Argonaut that's, just, that's right next to uh, the sunset and all the deckhands that are <laughs> uh, look, uh, look up and just, what the fuck? That was him! He's just gonna take a bow. Sky whale. The fuck's that? The, do, you, do you know what a whale is? No. Yeah. No, put it in the sky. 
They don't. They don't fly. But imagine if as they did. the as the orcs are looking along some of the They don't fly. No, they don't fly. No, no, these ones do fly. I vaguely remember it. Uh, hey. And you call them up. Mm. Uh, oh, oh, what was his name, Captain Argos? Argos. I will buck up. Could I speak to him? Cop. Uh, could you come with me? Why? To speak to the captain? Why? Because I need your help convincing him to do something. I don't think he likes me. Mm, I never better. Everyone time. likes you. You're half dressed. Well, yes, but I don't think that's the only reason why they don't like me. I've seen you talk a devil out of doing things that they wanted to do. Okay, fine. Thank you. Uh, captain Argos comes over to the railing. You see oh, that his. I don't need to whisper at all. That his left side's in a sling. There's severe burns up the entire left side of his body. Uh, he's actually walking on his hammer, almost like a like a uh, like a cane or a walking stick. <laughs> yeah, pull up the closet. What? Uh, hey, as as he's okay. walking up, <laughs> I know about Hogarth. What? I know about Hogarth. Okay, and my plan is to send the three dragons with that on this ship. To the heat pass, it's close. Should be a day off. We'll drop it off. Uh, I'll notify Red and Blue to help hook it up to the large dragon crystal there, so the three dragons can start flying. Holgoth told me that may not work. May? May. Not. Not. Work. Work. Yeah. Worth a try. Fucking <laughs> 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 meme. Yeah. <laughs> not. Not. Work. Work. May not work. Let's do it anyway. Let's do it try. <laughs> exactly. So, like, my thing is, I'd rather try to give the age, the age of dragons enough time or power to, like, come to help us with the cathedral, and then maybe we can come back and fix it. But can we drop it off for, like, a, a two-day war? I need your help convincing the captain of flying doing this. But he looks pretty burnt up, so he might want some rest of his. Wait. Doing what? Dropping off the crystal. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> yeah. Hey. What do you want? We're already making way to go to the cathedral. What the fuck do you want? Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> He's wondering if we can buy it, if we can stow on your ship so that we can go with you and have the three dragons go back to Hammer so that they can fix something for us. He passed. He passed. Sorry. There are a lot of words in that. Can you think you think it gets simplified a little bit? Us join your ship, dragons. What? Can you transport a big round ball and the three dragons to Hamlet? See, like And then meet us back at the table. I don't know what to do. Why would I do that? One thing and help save the world? Yeah, have the heels of the world with all of the, 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 the crystal. Oh, wait, I know exactly why that couldn't work. I, like, look at you in the, like, and I'm just like, and? It's because it's fused to the ship, so it can't leave our ship anymore. So... That was all up in here. Yeah. Which is why we need the sky wheel. It all makes sense. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. His plan failed. You ever seen a sky wheel? No. You haven't flown high enough yet. I don't see anything. Uh. Um, I'm sorry, but obviously he's changed his mind. I apologize for taking up some of your time. Alright, thank you for wasting my time. Yeah, we'll use you in a second. That's not a nice thing to say. I apologize. Uh, he quickly turns and heads back. Uh, Did you have to be laying behind me, dude? Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm gonna group chat to everyone. What? What's our plan? What do you mean, what's our plan? Well, I mean, go in the cathedral and... I th yeah, go yeah, to cathedral. we're ready to start the war, right? Yeah, I guess. So, can I just tell everyone about Holgoth? 
Now, wait, what's the deal about Hogan? I wouldn't say anything if I were you, boy. Oh, wow. What, that's is that a, not Olvan, that's not ominous at all. Don't say anything. Hogarth, would you like to go to the Heat Pass and see if you can reconnect it there? And we'll leave the ship to you? That sounds like a bad idea. The idea that I have is bad. I mean, isn't, are we already, as you say, in the end goal, boy? I, I understand, but you want to come in half Are we on time limit right now because we are meeting with forces that are currently on the way there? Oui. As she said, honestly, in the time frame, I think you're... you're What's his name? Saipang. Should he be going to half at this point? Yep. Yeah. Um, it's too late. Yeah. Fine, then up to the skies. And then I, I ding hold up. How long is it going to take you for you to regain your strength? Hey, uh... uh turn off the seal. So, what I'm thinking is like... Not an option! Uh, take the Argonaut with you, and let's follow them Maybe. up to the skies. Maybe once we get up high enough, like real high where the sky wheels are, you'll start doing some calls. <laughs> Sounds good enough to me. Okay. In the, what would be strong enough go? to help keep to the seal going? To other than you. Keep going uh, together. I mean, we're going to cathedral. He's going to cathedral. If you can find Fair someone enough. to convince your Kotok to actually force their energy into the seal, might be able to sustain it. Not as well as me, obviously, because. I'm just so strong. Oh, wow. Talk about ego much. Yes, and you can see what I can do. Well, you two are just talking on it. Yeah. And, and, and we're, it's, a, it's a one-on-one Discord call. As we're talking, I <laughs> chime back in on the team Discord. Jakaya! What? Jakaya! Could you put a sky whale to sleep? Could I put a sky whale? <laughs> it's a very thing. standard question. Could I? Do you know how long? Do you know how often I put any one of our enemies to sleep? Dude, I've seen you try a lot. I think. Yeah, keyword <laughs> try. <laughs> what a, try the sky whale. I don't know what the problem is here. I think massive creatures that fly through the air don't sleep ever. That that answer right there. You think right he just there. wants to take a rest? Like on Cthulhu? Yeah, if they stop whatsoever, I don't want to kill stop. it. I don't want him to be like, yeah, kill the sky whale, and drop it on the city. It's a nice sky whale, but I just want to use his big. Body mass. Are you gonna feel it? As a literal hammer. Wait. Yeah, that's definitely not killing a whale. Yeah. That's a horrible idea. It's a big brother. It's just a whale. <laughs> what are you, what, what, Mario, what are you making noises about? Sorry, I'm just trying to get his attention here. Um, I have two questions. One, how badly damaged is the, is the Argonaut, which is our ship, right? No, our ship is the Sunsetter. Okay, oh, the sunset. Uh, how badly damaged is she? Uh, ship shape. It's actually yeah. good. Yo, I got uh, one. Did you? Both did crews. You say these uh, both okay, crews spend, checking. Both crews spend the majority of the day Bolts. actually fixing both ships. Wow. Beautiful. And then Saipang, um, he's going like with Hogarth, and then Saipang is going to like with an army, right? He's pulling an army through the teleportation circles in through heft. Yes. Okay. And will that be immediately noticed? Stuff underneath there. Yeah. What was that? Since Sorry. Is that going to be immediately noticed? Uh, when they begin mobilization, sure, probably. Like, no, but... I know. Right? Okay, so <laughs> not, that not when they when they get mobile. Uh, they're more than likely going to occupy the city of Heft as not a whole and then make movements south from yeah. Heft along the highways. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so could be from city. No, it's not this one. them coming in, right? More than likely. Is there a third one in there? So we want to start the ruckus and so they can have time to get in. We at the back. And then we know... Sorry, thank you. Um, why would they need time to get in? It's a, it's hard to um, move hundreds of people through a single teleportation circle. That and the other thing is... I mean, this is Cathedral. They're also going to have things that will counteract actions. So the more surprise um, things it, that we can have, the better it is. Is it on a lake and it's like a super long bridge to get in? From your recall, yes. There are what are called the Pilgrim Bridges and the associated Pilgrim Cities that are so, that, that take days to cross. Hey, guys. 
What? Mm. So how did you get in Cathedral City? By the sky? So... <clears throat> That's why we go in first and then give everyone else time. We need to start <sighs> chaos and destruction within the city. I think we should do it stealth-like because, like... Why? Because yeah, we can take out a lot of their numbers stealth-like rather than uh, going in abruptly it. and then like having all of their numbers focused on us and then well wouldn't that be better so the majority of the mass that are a lot weaker than us could get in and while mm -hmm. the majority is faced on us they come in from behind mm -hmm. it's a typical like pincer attack yeah but once they notice then they're just going to turn right back around and kill and slaughter but that's, everybody that's else. where you i'm not i'm not looking to slaughter everybody else you do understand what if this is like they're a able to draw city. out <clears throat> their army ahead of time? Uh, uh, how? And also, Cathedral's uh, a huge city. We couldn't draw it all out. Or, oh, and to yeah. answer your question, I do have potion of friendship, animal potion of friendship. And he, I have, I can speak with animals, so I feel like we can get a group of sky whales to. Oh yeah, I have beasts. If anything, well. we could just ejaculate all over the city. Fuck it. Ah. I, mean, I like I'm, to think that this is everyone's reaction, and Alvin's like... I mean, like, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm always a fan of Bukake, but, like... <laughs> it would be a giant surload! It would be creepy mass panic! Why wouldn't it? No. I'm it just stating a fact! No. Okay, whatever. You can always uh, go into the city no. and cause a uh, strike this school. So, the other thing- I things... just need to go into an orphanage and teach some young kids magic! Oh That's my- That's it! Ah! <laughs> I will go there and start creating some monsters. You will create some warlocks. You'll create some fires. You'll befriend some animals. Ooh, Ava, you just fire. start having hectic time with your family. I feel like all of oh, us what? just start- what? A little fire. This is too much chaos, even for me. Um, look. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm all about the law, and I feel like you guys know this. I can't just uh, go up there creating fires. I'm obviously not going to be myself going in there. Why not? Because I'm I'm noticeable. Have That's, you seen me? Yes, that is okay. the point. This we is the end game. Have... We're going in there to end them. I think we should split up. We should have three teams. Okay, we need a reconnaissance team to go in first to get an idea of what we're up against. I then gotcha we're going to need, obviously, a full assault force. Um, which is, I think, what's his name? Kai San? Kai Peng. Sai Peng is, um, is the major. Kai Peng! Oh my god, that's his name. Um, we also need some. And then we're going to need, so. I think, to, while Tai Peng has the majority of everybody else's focus with his army, and we can figure out in a second how we're going to get him in so that they can have, you know. That focus. Um, we also need to just cut off the head of the snake. You know, like that is always the best, I think, uh, plan of attack. That way, this battle doesn't draw on for too long. So, once we get recon team back, we can put Taipang's force into action, and while they're distracting everyone, we go in. As secretly as possible. Um, no, not as secretly as possible. Secretly, period. And um, we split into two groups. One group goes for the Pope, the other group goes for my dad. Get the head of the army out of the way, and then get the lead ringer, lead, ring leader out of the way. You lost me at the split two groups. Well, so you also lost dad. me at the recon team. Well... She, as she's, as she's literally saying, one one team goes in to just recon. I get that, but it's also we are deciding a, a group amongst ourselves. We're not commanding the armies. No, so we can suggest I ping to do things, but mm -hmm. not, That's not at least that from what, what I've heard like, and what I've heard was happening is in two days the war starts. More so in the fact that two days Sai Peng marches. And then everyone else is going to, everyone that said they are going to help, 
I would assume would is gonna they're all gonna conjoin within three days. Mm -hmm. But look at where Heft is, and look how long it takes to get there by foot. You have some time. Question: Yes. What if we sent like an a mail like a letter? Um, disguising like ha like a fake letter from the city of Heft, being like, "Oh, like the city of Heft has been destroyed, and now we're seeking asylum within Cathedral City." And then have our army disguise themselves as asylum seekers, and then once they get to the gates, like wreak fuck um wreck chaos, Three. like a surprise attack. They wouldn't be prepared. Trojan horse. Yeah, we would have to make him look destroyed yeah, from the city beforehand. Then. Well, I mean, Recount considering you know, burned to the ground, destroyed. We send the letter. You know, obviously, it takes a few days to get there, right? So the letter uh, we would send beforehand. They won't have somebody be able to get there in time to confirm the contents of the letter. Um. And you know, like, I think it would be pretty easy easy to be convincing considering how many cities have been destroyed recently <laughs> um okay so i have i have took your words I, hold on i want to hear from other people first does anyone else have <laughs> plans because i do think she has great ideas mm -hmm. so i want to hear from everyone else that's what i want do you have anything more or less yeah what i've been saying go into the city so have it in the discord and uh subtle ways as possible by teaching little kids magic. So, <laughs> here's, not repeat that, please? Uh, here's my it's idea. So well, the first time. If we split up into two groups, I like her idea of doing that, but I think we need to do two things at once. So, I'm also talking as nugs. Um, if we split up into two groups, half of us, whatever the non sneaky team, goes up to half. Ha. Half. 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 Uh, we, they go up there. I think you need to be a part of that because I think you need to set fire to the one of the biggest fires ever up there to make the appearance of the city on fire. Why? Because from afar, oh, they're going to see that. it. Do you not disagree? A fire is so easy to set. You're... What do they think they can do that? One of the, yeah, so like, the size of the rough. city, though? Yeah. Okay, so you want to be on the sneaky team? I'm not sneaky. <laughs> So anyways, so we have, <laughs> so we have the, 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 the fire no starting, and then, <laughs> it's no more rolling. Oh, we don't have dragons. Who? What? Hello? Who are you talking? It's no more rolling. Who are you talking about? Um, Dragon of Death, the first dragon, the red one, and then. Sorry, can't remember anybody's names because I just got to the spot. We've been traveling with them. So, they then the sneaky team goes in and infiltrates okay. and gathers information. So what I think should happen is we send them in while simultaneously informing Saipang, uh, Taipang of our plan, right? Yep. Send the letter. All of this can be done without leaving the ship. Have the dragons do recon. Have dragons come back. Let us know where everyone is placed. Use that information. Pass it on to Saipang. They, we should come up with a signal with, a signal with him. He hits the city, and that's when we know. Like once he gives us the signal, we go in, and that's when our group split. And when I say our group, I mean like the six of us split up. Half of us go get my dad so me and my fam i guess and then the rest of y'all go get the pope i'm going I, i'm yeah. going to be very honest i don't want to split us up in the city yeah we really should not be splitting up when we go fight your dad yeah i think that's and your a, family i don't want to split the, the party if that's we right. split party okay. doing like a couple day traveling okay. i'm fine with us being split with traveling okay. but not fighting we bosses we don't have to that was meta so 
What I was saying is, like, the sneaky team that stays there and waits for the army to come in, like, Nihilus could start the chaos. So chaos is starting to brew while the refugees are sneaking in, and then that's when our two groups can meet up. Would that, um, would that work? Say, We're still doing I sneaky team, I, other team. Well, I thought that's what she, that, I was at least, that's what both of them wanted. Yeah. I'm just very confused. That's why I'm trying to solidify something, because yeah. I can't really make... I it, she's cutting in and out, so I can't really make sense. I'm cutting in and out. Let me move. Why don't you tell me that? Because <laughs> you also talk very fast. So. I just need patience. I was do we still want to split up into two teams, or do we want to stay? Her, I got the general gist of her plan. Her gist was to send the dragons in the city to recon. You I, guys had to, had to heft relay with Sai Pang to send the letter to the cathedral that. Heft was destroyed mm -hmm. by rebels, mm -hmm. and a large group of citizens have become refugees and rec and need assistance from the cathedral. Then you guys would re uh, would reconvene with the dragons, head into cathedral, and then when the refugees, quote unquote, refugees were in the city, a signal goes off. Um, all manner of destruction, chaos, and distractions go off. And you would then go after, as Avaria said, to take care of the army. If you take care of the sword, the city cannot defend itself. I I just would rather send half of us and maybe one dragon instead of all 50 dragons. Because we also can't send Hogoth. So it would only be sending a blind Two. dragon and that doesn't fight and <laughs> a death dragon that doesn't have his powers back. So that's why I was like... It, it, by the way, can you hear me better now? Am I not cutting in and out anymore? Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. I was just in a, I was in the study room, and it's kind of like an isolated area, so maybe it just wasn't like the best place for like Wi-Fi. Um, but anywho, we can just send one of the dragons who does have their power. I think maybe what's her name could be ideal for this. Um, but before that. The, the uh, blind dragon that doesn't fight anyone? Yeah, she's perfect if she's trying to be sneaky. Hello, she's just trying to gather information. She's also dressed as a very elegant knight. That's also fair. Avaria? I don't know her that well, y'all. Like, I wasn't there for meeting her. I'm just, I just want to ask you a question. Do you think your family would notice a very powerful being within the city? A powerful being should be able to disguise themselves well enough. But th this isn't and an anime. I we don't have like a spell to disguise our power. Yes, we do actually. If you don't actually make yourself present, no one really knows. So if she's just an elf, she doesn't like, like, like even detect magic. Wouldn't like, oh, you're a dragon. Only, only, hot, as far as Avaria would know, only the upper echelon of, of like, say, um, church guard. And even uh, high judge police would only be able to have that. The majority of the towns don't. Well, I'd agree with that, but that's also where we'd be infiltrating, isn't it? Well, if you're going to be infiltrating by ground, you need to figure out where you're coming in from. That's the other you thing. Have nine like, points of I just don't think we could be sneaky because how are we going to do that in this time limit? Like, that's why I'm saying let's just go into the sky. <laughs> you said hello. Oh, I I went, what? I didn't say hello. Um, also, side note. From all of that, Josh, by the way, you are completely correct in delivering everything I said. The only thing um, was that I was not going to go, like, my suggestion was not to go back to Heft, but to uh, just send him a message through Nihilus. Like, we could probably speak to him, right? Through yeah, sending scroll or something. Or sending. It was or also like the, send a scroll and sending. Someone was also, uh, Red and Blue were also making, uh, sending stones. Yeah. Second level spell. Arcanus yeah. Nashikora. Perfect. That's not actually have to like for anywhere. Who knows it? We can just send from the plan. Um, I also suggest when they go in, the ideally it would be at night. That way people are less prepared. And there's, you know, I don't know if this is true or not. <laughs> this is um, hopefully a barrier would know, but less security at night, less going on. Uh, patrol shifts are definitely a weak point. Right, so I can write down patrol shifts, send it over, 
in that letter to have, then we can send that letter from half to Cathedral once uh, Taipan says yes. Um, ultimately, I guess we don't need any recon. We can take that out of the way. Um, if, and only if, Ava would happen to have the knowledge of where her father might go when they're under attack. Like, because I'm guessing it would take like 20 minutes, maybe. Yeah, oh my god! But wait, if it's nighttime, maybe her dad would be asleep, and we can try to like break it into her into their house before they attack. That way, once he tries, okay, hear me out. This is what I'm envisioning. Wait, what? are you still Ava right now? Hold on, time out. She is not Ava right now. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you off. Be Ava. I'm just. Coming up with ideas. This is good. I thought it was being Ava. Oh, you didn't sound like Ava for a second. And that's why I was like, if you're being Ava right now, I just like, are we actually suggesting these things? Yes. So, um, but so, okay. well, the only times I like talk out of character is when I'm like, oh, I don't know if Ava knows this or not. Um, so you're like, character. So I just want to make sure I hear this correct. You were just cool with assassinating your father. Um. So. <laughs> and because you were very specifically yeah. saying you wanted to make sure. <laughs> uh, <thank you. laughs> um, right. So, I guess you get my gist then of like, he would probably be at home before he gets alerted that the city is under attack, and being there as he's finding out or like before he does so would be ideal. So that way we can stop him from going to relay any information to the army and that way there's even more confusion um I'm not honestly like my intention is not to assassinate him <laughs> um I will kill him if necessary but you know I, I would prefer to see if I could speak to him first um and if not then we do as we must. Um, hence why I'd like to go to his home and sneak in, as it might provide us like more of a quiet area to have that shot. And then if not, you know, a battle could ensue and like I know our home pretty well and then, you know, nobody's going to be able to really save him at our house easily because um, we can easily barricade ourselves inside. And then we can just get out with, like, a teleportation spell or something. So, Ava, sh sh I'm trying to think. Falling, like, add to the ideas. Like, this is a conversation. <laughs> Honestly, whenever it comes to your family, I'm down to do whatever you want. But when a war comes in mind, I do like the whole idea of like using that as a jury function. But I do also like <laughs> Silas's idea of like, starting yeah. chaos. So, well, we can kind of do both with Hef. Speak words of wisdom. Well, we can use Hef as a Trojan horse, and then those people start to wreak havoc. Um, just depending on you know what they can do. I, uh, I would like to, like, if they wreak havoc here, I would like us to be over here to wreak havoc. Because I think that would really send them in a state of shock. Well, we actually need to find out where River is because he's in Cathedral. So if he can wreak havoc where he's at, that would be Ryber's great, too. Be gone. Oh. <laughs> well, that's assuming he can speak to us. Yeah, I'm sure we I, um, not so, I'm sorry, Nihilus is able to contact him. We've done it before between the two of us. So I can get on top of contacting Riper, see where he's at, what he knows. Meanwhile, someone, after that, we can contact Taipang, mm -hmm. let him know about what the idea, and then go from there. Okay. Also, um, in terms of like weapons and stuff, obviously armor should be concealed underneath clothing, but um, we can use like big uh, farmers' carriages. Um, you know, refugees would 
I do need to be having those, so we could put lots of weapons in there. Or even, like, um, bombs or something. I don't know, whatever. Oh, one thing that was really important, though, that, uh, we do need to be on top of is, um, civilian casualties, I'd like to avoid those, so maybe we should assign a small portion of, um, men to, uh, help get civilians out of the city, or away at least, into a safe area. You do realize um, our army is consisted of civilians, right? And, th- and they all, like, follow the church, so they're gonna be fighting for the church, too. Cathedral City civilians, the ones who are not part of the army, I mean. I, I, I get it, but we're also taking on the city, so I, I I think a lot of the civilians are gonna stand up for themselves. Well, not the slaves. But the slaves are probably gonna be forced to fight, fight us, well, too. Fight, well, not, a, not if we remove fight. their slaves, Marks. Even then, like, they're still slaves and they've been taught to, like, listen. It'd be very hard to break the mentality of a bunch of slaves all of a sudden. Not necessarily. Um, I mean, well, More power to you guys. But that that's not going to be my concern. Against against their slave masters, and they'd be like, yeah, I'm out of here. If you guys want to focus on that part when you get on the city, by all means, but I just think we have bigger fish to fry. It's not a focus that we need to do. We just assign people to do it. So, and it can be done. Like, like who, Ava? Well, sir. Miss General. So so go tell someone that can do it. Hey, um gigantic question. What are we gonna do about your lover boy toy husband? Yeah, because as soon as they turn him on, he's basically a weapon against us. Mm-hmm. What happened? Where is he? Gaius? He's he's like programmed, so you oh. say a certain set of words oh, and then he turns out to like a killing machine. Like yeah. Like if you remember Winter Soldier. Yeah. Lucky. Yeah. Trigger warning. <laughs> Literally. Um Gaius. Hello. Uh, uh, as you're talking on deck, you hear a, uh, a a scuffling of noise coming from below deck. As guys quickly rushes up, uh, out, uh, out pops from below deck. Yeah, yeah. What? What were you doing? Oh, he's so cute with the boy. I was cleaning. The ship tilted. That the lower deck's a mess. Ah, uh, right. Anyways, what are we supposed to do with you? Feed me? I, I don't know. What the, what's the context of this of this question? Your mind control. That's the context. I just say the phrase. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say it again, and I'm like, you see? No. He doesn't like that, stupid. Do that one more time, you'll see these fists in your face. You actually you, you say it the first time round. Nothing happens. I was like, well, I mean, that's positive. Oh. Hey, Ava, you try it. You're actually celestial, so. Do you try and speak the the, the trigger words? Of Aria? Uh, no. Oh! Oh my god, is it a celestial thing? It could be. I just tried to say it and it didn't work. Guys, would you be okay if I tried it? I mean, Nux didn't even give me any warning before you said it, so I... Appreciate it? Go ahead. She has okay, something about that and that about your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely kick you a little bit, just like gentle kick, and then <laughs> I say the words. <laughs> There's Wow, that's actually surprising. As soon as he said that. There's <laughs> slight ticks uh, from Gaius' eyebrows, his head twitches slightly like he's trying to struggle against something. Nothing happens. So, nice. did you, like, figure yourself out, or what? To turn off? To make the will save? Sorry, the fuck that I'm done. What's a will save? Fuck that will save. I didn't exactly <laughs> save on my on will. Oh god, just comes up, he's like, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you get your mental bullets, yeah. I've... Stop it. 
I don't know. I guess dying kind of made me reflect on some things. That's what, yeah. I've always wanted to play Maybe a game. Such a I want to play a game. Music. Maybe? I don't know. A game that likes music. I do. Well, if it, I don't know what's going on, but you guys are gearing up for something. Um, I'm guessing we're heading to Cathedral. May I make a request, then? What? <laughs> of course! Um, can we go see the Highwind Orphanage? The Highwind Orphanage? That's where I'm, that's where I, uh, I, how I put it. Where, I grew up, yeah, that's, that was my home for a while. Where he at was le convinced. At least, what I remember. Before, children, before, slaves. Before I was conscripted into the Cathedral Guard and made Inquisitor and sir, met sir, with Ava sir. and all that. I kind of want to. I kind of want to take care of that. I want to see if it actually is an orphanage or if it's something a little bit more perverse. And if it's something more perverse, what happens then if they trigger you before we can do it? I mean, we just had Nux and Ava, you know, try and control me, and it didn't work. Because we know what the control words are, though. But the ladies that probably. Ladies, I'm assuming whatever. they have like some extra backup contingency plan, like or extra words. I just want to know if it's not what oh. I remember it to be. That's all I want. That's all I want to know. If it is, we'll burn it to the ground, and we'll make sure that it's never brought back up. No more conditioning. No more child soldiers. None of that. We'll just burn it to the ground and call it good. And that's closure on my end. Why are we turning all the if, children there into little paladin warlocks? I mean, that's, a, me. that's, a, that's an option, but... It's not an option. That is not a good idea. Oh my gosh. Oh god, you're about to gain some power. <laughs> um, let me contact uh, my brother, Quiver, see what he's up to, and then maybe Gaius and Tens could do a little orphanage thing. Um, a little pause in this conversation. Did we agree with that? What I suggested was a good plan? It. It's a good idea. It depends on how you guys That's... execute it. Right, okay. Um, let's go ahead and start maybe chum, just chum. contacting my bird. Chum, 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 is that chum. a good starting point for everyone? Sure, why not? Uh, Albie, can you take us to the sky? Like, really high up. Let's what are you doing? The whales? What do you mean? We gotta sail the cathedral anyways. <laughs> Well, two points of context, there are no clouds in the area. Um, it's completely devoid for what looks uh, to be several uh, miles. Um, Nihilus, you've experienced that something's not quite right, especially within the current area, as you're suffering from a point of exhaustion still. <laughs> Um, Since we're not around any clouds, um, sorry. hey nuts, can you make the cloud of smoke thing be like Thank bigger you. or whatever, or no? Uh, I can't make it bigger than what, I, what it already is. It just kind of covers the bottom of the ship. It's a 30, 30 foot. <laughs> now he's looking for it. So here you go. <laughs> That will get to underneath the couch. That's yeah, fair. That will disappear. Oh, wow. A lot bigger than what I thought. Yeah, sorry, here. Uh, so unless you cork it, the thing just keeps billowing smoke. Up until 120 feet radius. So. Big ass fucking cloud. Bigger than our ship. Yes. I feel like that's a magical feeling. Nihilus! Stopping cloud growth. So I feel like it's. I'm assuming it's the false sun. That probably too. Yeah. That might be why I'm feeling like shit actually as well. Possibly. I feel great. It used to be this uh, free five spell called Nova, which allowed 
Did you be a vampire in the day? What's 3-5? Uh, D&D, D&D. The D&D, 34th edition. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. I was in character. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was like, what's I was not. <laughs> it was basically just like a fucking, basically an umbrella, a magical umbrella that allowed you to be a vampire in the daytime, not suffer any sort of sunlight penalties. I have to stay That's under this hilarious. umbrella. Last eight, out of that, last of eight hours, could cast as a ritual. It's be nice. I use a crossbow because I can't fight with a sword because if I swing outside the sun, it's going to burn me. <laughs> ha! T-Rex on daggers. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're flying to the cathedral? That's our direction, right? To the cathedral. To the cathedral. Um, the Argonaut disconnects from your ship. Uh, you notice that they are heading uh, northeast. Um, from just based on general direction, you take off more east southeast towards Cathedral. And up into the sky as high as you can, and still notice that there are no clouds and no sky whales. Hey, do you think? Me. <laughs> you make you want the... me to do the call? Yeah. <laughs> Gets me every time. That's good. <laughs> nothing, nothing falls back. Your voice billows out into the into the blue sky, with no recall and no reverb. Um, you continue on for a couple of days. Luckily, you have a solid tailwind, so you're actually able to move a little bit faster. Nihilus can also cast gust. Mm-hmm. Yes, it works. Yes. Contact driver. Um, <laughs> if you have a, if you have scrolls of sending or someone with sending, it's possible. I do have sending, and I have sending stones. But that one time though that Nihilus used that spell that I was able to contact driver with when you were still in the other plane. 25 words, make him count. You get, uh... You can kind of uh, use uh, Nihilus as a conjunction point as he connects through your mind and casts sending. Um, uh, uh, 25 words of last. Yes, it is a 25 word telepathic message. You don't have to sign off, right? They immediately know who it is based off voice. I mean, yeah, but it's polite. Yeah, it's it's not like it's not like the old hardline phones where you were receiving a call from so and so. It's they kind of they kind of innately know when the when the the spell goes. All right. Um, where Sorry. are you? Three words. Where art thou? Recon. Send recon five words. Send recon. Um. Send recon info six words. Um. Anywhere we can sneak in. Mm, anything else? Did I bring anything else? So do. Is that it? Uh, that's all you're sending? Well, I was gonna ask everybody else if I should ask more or say more. Love and kisses, Miles. Or love and kisses. Kakaria. <laughs> kisses. Miles, Kakaria. Avaria. Ava, Avaria. It's Birdman. Ava, and oh, Avaria. Birdman. I got. It. Um, a couple left. Yeah, was... There is a response. We sign all this. Love and kisses. Love and kisses. The homies. The homies. Hello, little sis. I, I get it. I get the message. I am holed up in hope, along with the Strieger clan. Have information come when possible. He said he is in hope. 
where's Hope? It's Hope. one of the bridges. Hope is over here. It's on the south. It's one. It's one of the the pilgrim cities along the bridge. The bridges uh, that cover the entirety of the lake that cathedral is built on. Uh, it's on the most southeastern uh, junction point, north of the dark marshes. Uh, from what you recall about Hope, at least those that have been to Cathedral, the City of Hope is was full of positivity, optimistic people. Um, and Hope? They were very generous. They were kind-hearted. They helped each other out. Um, they were adhering to one of the nine statutes of the uh, Bannon Ritenu of faith, prosperity, truth, hope, embrace, sacrifice, resolve, glory, and pious. Was it pious? They were, they were upholding pious. Yeah. Uh, so I think... <laughs> what? <laughs> so I think Sai Ping has army should go in pious if he's in hope. And then I'll go to uh, resolve, and that's where I'll summon my army. Does that sound good? Anyone else object? I didn't hear you. Did you repeat that one more time? If your brother's in hope, I would think it's a smart idea for uh, Sai Ping and that army to be on like two thirds of the circle and go to that bridge and then I can be on the other two th sides of the bridge and I don't know if you guys want to come with me but I have my army that I can summon still and so that's why I was thinking three different armies like attacking at three different points. Um, that's a great idea. All of them disguised as the refugees? The Sai Pengs, yes. But then your brother's your brother and his army. Why? That's my dice. Why? Uh, your brother or your brother and his army is in hope. And then, like I said, I can summon my army. Thank you, sir. Uh, at the other third junction. Uh, which he is referring to the city of Resolve. To which you remember that Resolve was. A much more militant-based city. It's where a lot of uh, soldier training was was based on. They were fairly stern and loyal to the uh, to the Bannon faith, but they were still somewhat realistic. the armies there. The only issue is that it takes a few days to go over the bridges. So, for um, my brother's army, for your army next. Uh, my, my army gets summoned, and your brother's army should already be in hope. Alright, but going forward for my brother's army, I just don't want them to be noticed. Like, the whole thing is an element of surprise here, right? It's, it's her brother's unless, army. Unless unless we use his army first and everybody well, and then the cathedral would think that he, they he are the, the so primary attack plan. force, yeah. only to be surprised yeah. with Sai Pang's army. Hey But my only fear is that they would what? Uh, your brother's army is already there in hope with your brother. But they haven't noticed him yet. The, exactly. Yeah, they will soon. When we start the war, that's when your brother should start his side. Yeah, but wouldn't he be a day away? Sorry, where is Hope? Like, isn't that a... So, <laughs> Cathedral, the, the entire structure of this section is a giant circle with nine points leading outward from that circle and the center point being, the center point being Cathedral itself. And I'm saying the armies attack on the same day at different areas. So yes, they're a day apart, but that's why I'm saying attack the city from three separate areas on the same day. Um, at different times? Or at the same time? 
Say I don't care. Uh, same time. I'm just saying the same day. I just sent a picture of Cathedral in, in Discord so you could see. Thank you. I couldn't see it. Okay, let's see. Okay, cool. Okay, so once again, I'm suggesting that three different armies attack from three different areas on the same day. Cool. Everyone else? Do you guys want to be in Resolved? Because uh, I don't know where we should go. I'm sure there's a secret entrance that we can get into. Um, and I think what's my brother? My brother. I think has you going to with you summoning your army in that in that one spot is a great plan. And then we can go and meet up with Driver, and yes. then meet in Cathedral in the middle. Yeah, like everyone can join and um, fights their way to the middle. Okay, so are, are but we But I don't think you should go to, alone. That's what I'm saying. Should we all go to Resolve and be the one at Resolve? Her brother at Hope, Sai Ping at Pius, and then we fight towards the middle and meet up her brother and Sai Ping and his army? Um... Or should I summon my army there? And you guys just start heading towards the middle, and I meet you guys there, or... That's why I... I... Did Riley have anything other else to say other than the fact that he was in Hope? I deliver everything he said. Okay. So then... Um, well, it sounds okay. like he has uh, information, so I think... Um, I think he may know the secret entrance, considering he was about to be, like, the heir of our family... I don't understand, like, why nobles wouldn't have secret entrances, you know, just in case the city was ever under attack or something. So hopefully Ryber has that info. Um, but I think, Nux, you should go to Resolve. You will have your army to back you up. Um, so once you infiltrate the city, like, we can group chat message where to meet up once we have that information. Okay. But I, I am worried about you being apart from us. Honestly, we can just attack from two points instead. And you can just add your army to um, my brother's army. As another option. Honestly, I don't care anymore because I feel like this is taking too long and it's kind of upsetting me. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't care what the plan is. Let's just start doing things. Okay. Um, Using the tailwind, your travel time is cut a little bit. Uh, but do we do anything about um the Taipans on me? Taipans on me. What do you want to do? Are we actually doing the refugee thing or not? Because we'd have to deliver that information to him. We're all in agreement? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Mm. Yes, we are. Okay. So, Josh, sir? Mm. Please roleplay out <laughs> that we contacted him with that. He never figured out how to actually contact Sai Fang. That he should have a sending stone that A and Blue already made, because he was already making a group of them. That me and at least our us group and at least Sai Ping, we should at least have one or two, sir. Stop it. Sir, stop it. I don't like that. Uh, so I'd assume that we could just... Say thing? <laughs> um... That is going like that. Sir! You are adorable. You do have a sending stone that you managed to grab before heading off that's connected to Saipang. Um, he delegated that he was going to hold the majority of them to communicate uh, as many lieutenants as possible. One leaving for your group. Um, you call. Yes, hello. As the stone actually rumbles in response and you hear it echo in your head. Ah, uh, Tepe. Yes? This area. Um, we have a few suggestions and... Hold and talk us through. Um, 
So we're a few days out. Um, we are thinking of sending a letter um, out to Cathedral City, um, stating that um, goodness, what should we say? Heft. Heft. That heft has been attacked by other forces and a series of refugees will be coming in to cathedral shortly um that being said it would be your army disguised as refugees arriving ideally at night um to hit during a guard shift um and then we plan our surprise attack through that um armor, under clothing, um, weapons and carriages, and yes. That's a good plan. That's like a very good plan. So underhanded, but I've definitely done worse. Well, I've done a lot. We need the extra, <laughs> any extra thing we can get. Um, I can forge something and send it over unless you feel that you have someone within your crew who could forge a letter like that a bit better. I have plenty here. I should be able to take care of that forge letter. Perfect. The problem that's going to the problem that's going to come around is, you know, sneaking everybody in. That's what's going to be the major, the major yeah. hurdle in this. Uh, I believe I do have someone that can actually create illusions on these carts. Speaking of carts, uh, do you know anything about these strange humanoid stone things? Strange humanoid stone things. I think Luxor might be a uh, expert, perhaps, on that. You want to take over, Nux? What about weird humanoid shit? Yeah, these strange statues look like they're quite literally built to be in a fight. Oh, you're in Heft? Yes. Oh, yeah. Have you not met White, I, White and Black yet? I found something. I don't know what they, what, what you, what I called them. Do you, do you remember Red Blue back at Hamlet? Yes, the little roller one. Yeah, he has an old. He, he has a, basically a brother that lives way far underground there, and he is kind of the main head one. Mm -hmm. He is white and black. His faces are white and black, so it's all white black. Uh, and I found one. He was kind of busted. Green, yellow, gone. They couldn't find that one. What do you mean? Like, which one was busted? Uh, the white face, fragmented into pieces, kind of charred. What? Yeah, um, a lot of these bigger, bigger ones are missing. Well, nothing I can do about it now. Uh, good luck. Uh, they're attack golems, and the other thing is, not to give you bad news, but White Black was supposed to control the giant mech golem, and, or the giant mech dragon that was built down under, underground that city. Um, oh, that's pleasant to hear. Make sure he's still there. That thing is still there. They can't access it without white black. That room is sealed. The only way I can access it was with your magical item. So either way, we're fucked, and we're too far away to get to it. So I can't do anything. Well, it. just at least make sure that the that room is sealed. I don't know. Okay, you can go downstairs, and I can guide you. Uh, but... well, I've tried going into some into other this other room. I can't get in. Yeah, and a lot of rooms down there are sealed. It's just a golem factory, and they build a lot of stuff, but I only have one control rod for one more adamantium golem. Oh, is that what they're called? I see four of them here. Yeah, I only have access to one of them. And you never activated it? No. Oh, that's a waste of potential. But at least it's not going to be running. It's called the Father of Monsters for a reason, but anyways. Um, but a lot of the smaller ones are gone, at least the ones that were... At least they didn't look like they were broken, I'm guessing. There's dozens of them down here. Oh, nothing we can do about it now. Did they ever tell you the plan? 
Yeah, it was a good idea. Yeah. A good, it was a good hit. It was a good hidden way to get in using using the the con of refugees. Not a bad idea. Did she tell you about the other armies? Um, right, that's what I'm about to get to just now. Um, we do have an army. Um, my brother is leading, um, and that is. Uh, they are currently camped out on the Hope Bridge. Um, we will be meeting with them there. So I think. For now, let's plan to go for out of character. Can I just say like a random time at night for like the shift change, or do you have one in mind, Josh? I have one in mind. Would I know that? Uh, those that practice um, war strategy, it's a it's uh, it's fairly common to figure out when the best point in shift change is, but that takes a, l a bit of reconnaissance. So okay. it, it would be a good idea to wait a couple of days until after uh, everyone has been set. Okay, cool. The so use this stone then, Taipei, to let us know when you are set with your army. We will then contact you with um, the time that would be most ideal for that shift change attack. Um, we'll meet up, we over here are going to be meeting up with my brother's group in Hope, where we're going to get some more information. Um, and then once we know the best time, we'll send it over and we can attack. That sounds solid, actually. I'm rather surprised. Didn't expect a small group of ramshackle vagabonds to actually come up with something. Consider me impressed. Hey, I used to be the, the almost future leader of the Dinosaur family. More faith should be placed on me. <laughs> I don't place a lot of faith on someone that, you know, wields power. Absolutely. You know? No, you're totally right. Great. Um, okay, well, I'm glad we have a great plan of action, and We'll chat soon. Um, let, give us, send us a, a note when those letters have been sent and when you're on the way. I will do so. Over and out. Bye. Um, <laughs> now upwards and onwards to hope. Yep. Um, sailing on as the day continues the light in the uh, in the sky doesn't seem to, doesn't shift all that much you definitely see the moon traveling along uh, in the in the skyline but there's still that that blue tinge almost like you're still in daytime um, I need everyone to roll another constitution check please except Except for the ASMRs. Wow. Hey, just like to sleep. Mm, worse. Oh. I did hit. Like... Did you say con? Oh, say con check. Con check. That's oh, just a check. Nineteen. That's a nine. <laughs> that was two very different who's. <laughs> so, ooh. Oh no. Okay. Huh? Yeah. A couple of days go by and Owie, the air's off. It feels like you're still baking underneath the sun, but it's not hot. Hmm. It's bizarre. You feel like your skin is warm and and your feathers are kind of drying out, like you're almost beneath the sun, but the sun's in a different position than where, than how you're feeling. Nuxanor, Nurkaria, you are experiencing one level of exhaustion as you feel your body being spent. The your very strength seems to be sapped. Nihilus, you are suffering from another from level two ah, exhaustion. Ah, 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 ah. Don't do that. Oh yeah, you're not feeling good at all. 
Sorry, baby. It just it sags onto the floor, and then before I know it, I'm rolling on it. And... Bad. Bad news bears for the black kid. I think I need a week long nap. <laughs> Don't you not sleep? Right. He doesn't sleep. No. And that's what's very that's, that's what's very precarious. He hasn't been for his, for the short amount of time you've known him, he hasn't slept. He doesn't need to sleep. He just rests and sits and reads a book. But the three of you are experiencing something you have never experienced before. It feels let's put it this way, you're in a tanning bed that's off. But you still feel it. Gross. I like the fragment of the warmer. But the warmer's off. But the counter's hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, you come within a day's, at least, land journey uh, from the lakeside. And just in the horizon, you see this large white sun that's wreathing with Coriolas and waves of white light ebbing every so often from this gigantic sphere. Below it, you see Cathedral, this grand construct of a, a literal symbolism of the abandoned faith, the way of the true light, the nine points that dictate his sigil and belief system of the nine tenets of the way of light. However, it's not right. For Ava and Nihilus, you notice that the lake, which should be hundreds of miles wide, is dry as a bone. And beneath oh, the city is this large black structure underneath the very central column of the cathedral. What's eerie is that it looks like a mirror version of Corinthus Plex. The quartz castle that stands over freely in the exact mirror structure. Due north of cathedral what you would assume would be the Faith Bridge is completely destroyed. There is this gap that spans for miles, and the city itself is gone. The other eight cities look to be fine from your high vantage point. Due further southeast, what should be the Dark Marshes is nothing but wetland. At the junction point between the lake and the dark marshes is a hole that spans dozens of miles from your viewpoint. The entirety of this lake has been emptied and dumped into the dark marshes. Cathedral itself is brimming with white light. Albie, from your vantage point, you see that there are things flying around the city. It's a little hard to tell from your high vantage point. But there are some things that are actually flying above the cityscape. At least in the central portion of this colossus of a city. Hmm. You continue along. You shut up. And the closer you get to this second sun, the worse this heat wave feels. And yet, for your ASMR friends, you see them actually getting stronger. Their wings are, are completely materialized. Their feathers actually molt. Their halos are completely intact. 
They hover just overhead and they bobble as if attached by some unseen force. Gaius, his scar along his face, is giving off a subtle light. Ava, your eyes are brimming their usual colors, but in a more, in a more bright cadence. And Baron seems to be acting more animalistic than usual, considering he's still under the effect of a feeble mind spell. And that lasts for thirty days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My man says we're in the end of the war. <laughs> He's gonna be, he's gonna he doesn't, need to, he doesn't need to be smart to fight. That's true. He's Good thing. Really, you never lose. He has degraded from walking on like a like a like a newborn child trying to walk on legs. He's now walking like a gorilla or a chimpanzee, dragging his knuckles along the, sh the deck of the ship, following his his sister Avaria. <laughs> <laughs> She's saying, saying say. you. You're like, that's what, it's kind of messed up, yo. Why? <laughs> it's kind of messed up, yo. That's that's a, that's a mess. That's, that's just fucked up. Hi, Abby, just sent you. Oh, thank you. See you Well, I was gonna ask you, but I'm like, you're talking, so I'm like, but I can't just order myself something. So I already... you know what I like. Um. So we all going to repost? You're going to hope was the plan. Yeah, let's go. We're going to. Oh well, okay. I'll jump off the boat. We're going to get out of the city then. You were over which city? Just cathedral in general. You're just jumping. Well, yeah, I can cast invisibility and land on the ground just fine, and then I'll just wait until they say, "Hey, do it." So you're going to just disconnect yourself from this group for a while. I. I, how else am I supposed to get this? To, 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 all right, that's why I was asking everyone. What do you want me to do? Well, they're gonna hit hope, gather information, and then go to resolve. How are we? I thought. Okay, at least. Okay, maybe I'm confused, but at least out of game. Hmm. You said that uh, the attack was gonna happen in two days. You said we've been flying for a couple days. You said you've been flying for a couple days. They are marching. So yeah, now they're starting days. to march. The attack's not even happening. No, but now they're starting to march today, right? Yeah, right. they are going from heft because they have now, uh, uh, they have they have put the guise of uh -huh. refugees uh -huh. to go from heft to pious uh -huh. is at least a week worth of foot travel. Okay, so you have time. Uh, oh, so we have time to fly to Hope, get to Hope, and then because you said the bridges were a couple days travel, so it's, I was it, thinking we didn't yeah, have it takes a at least days a, it to... takes at least a day to go from edge to city and city to center and then outward from there. Okay, so we have seven days to just do this. Okay. Yeah, you have time. Uh, do you still wish to jump? No, no, I'm just no? doing whatever the team needs me to do. Okay, I just wanted to specify time frame. And that's why I was like, I just didn't know what. It yeah. takes a, it takes a full week to go from heft to cathedral by, via foot travel, and then an extra like two days to get into the city. I don't think we're getting to repost, but okay. okay. Um, as you are heading over uh, the central portion, I need everyone to make another Constitution check. Than the last. <laughs> that was better than the last one. That is a 21. Whether by drunken fortitude or sheer it's, ignorance, it's drunken fortitude. <laughs> you feel like you've been bathing in the sun. Oh, so yeah. But you were doing just fine. You've dealt with worse on a ship. You've dealt with scurvy. Oof. This is fine. Gross. Everyone else? That's what happens when you're on a bird. And you're bird on a pirate ship. Six? Mmm. You're level two exhaustion. Mm, that's okay. Jakaria? Six. You're level two exhaustion. I'm gonna roll for Nihilus since he's out cold. Okay, he's fine. Gucci. So if you don't know, level two exhaustion is pretty bad. Don't do it, Gucci. Um after a couple after a couple more days of seeing this 
uh, the cities from high up above, you see that each city has its own kind of uh, architectural design. So every city seems different in the way of maybe their their cadence, in the way that they follow a specific doctrine. They live in a in a, in a sort of specific way. Some uh, one of the cities is pure white structures, almost like the buildings in Greece. Um, others look like the structures you'd see out of a uh, Venetian Renaissance. Uh, others look like Greco-Roman style architecture. Yes. Hey guys. Um, the closer we get to the city, the more tired and exhausted I'm getting. That's probably due to the second sun. I feel it too. It sucks. I, so we I, need to take that thing out. I don't think so, I could survive another six or five or six days like this. Well, you know, like I said, we need to take the second sun out. Hey, actually, you know, since Ryver's already there, can he, like, do it? Or, or, ASMRs, why don't you pop your wings? I mean, they're already out. And, and go fly over there and destroy it for us. Directly over the, the sun's in the center. It's not over hope. I cannot figure. But like either way, the rest of us are gonna be out of commission. I guess it's up for Al because he looks like he's you know. He's half Hazel Argus. Right. That would make a lot of sense. Feathers. I don't know if I should feel that's racist or not. You feather brothers. That's fine. That's why I said I don't know if I should take that. It's offensive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, Why are you guys tired? I, I'm uh, not feeling great. Right. Honestly, this is uh, the no, warmest the I've been in a minute. This is kind of nice. It's not like a big sun right there. It's a big battery for all your ace wars. I mean, probably. It's not like it's leaking celestial energy. Let's see it. Uh, well, this is gonna. Uh, if you guys are feeling this bad, I I got something that I can try and do. Like can... what? If you're gonna do it, do it now. Uh, I, can, I can only, I can, I've only got enough power to do this a couple of times, so I, I, so, someone takes turns. Ah, uh, okay, so who wants to be the first? Because, like, yeah, the more I get tired, the more I get cranky. Just letting you guys know, I'm just, I'm just, heads up, okay? Well, there's the one who uh, is tired and has never slept in the whole time that I've known him. That feels weird. Beyond tired, I would say, even. I am, I am, I am ready to die. That's and apparently there's two more levels after this. I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> that there's four. Yep. <laughs> oh, four more levels. Okay. Uh, until seven, which you're dead. Yeah. Okay. But yes. no, you're well, you're. Yeah. So you're I managed to save you for your thing. Eight games. Excellent. Excellent. Um, he. <sighs> guys looks at you like, hey, you're really not looking so good. Yeah. Uh, hang on a second. He comes um, he comes over and he sets you down on the deck. Do what I'm thinking you knew how to do. And he Don't touch carefully me. lays his hand on your chest. Oh, you give that back. Because you give that back to me. <laughs> I take away that to be a long way around. No. <laughs> and you feel the radiance ebbing from his body uh, echoes off of him and down his arm into you as he casts greater restoration. Beautiful sound. Uh, oh, oh, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> As, as it washes over you, you feel this this heavy, heavy weight. Like, the entirety of your life is caught up to you in one span, and you're uh, literally a, a, about to just collapse under, your, under the weight of your own body from your from your exhaustion. And then there's this sur surge of adrenaline as you inhale, your eyes go wide, your skin brightens, and you're like, I can go for a jog! Three hairs disappear from my beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Thank you. Bubble up there. At least I know I can do that. Good. The problem is I'm now out for that for the day. Well, proud of you. Um, shit, I've got, I, I got enough for maybe one more. I don't know if I should give it to one of you guys or save my brother in law. Let's say save it in reserve. Either help the grouchy one or save the dumbass. 
I feel like both could probably end my life. And that's a <gasps> bit of a de- of the dilemma. Good luck. Sorry to God, if you don't give it a bed right now, I'm gonna kill you. Sounds like one is uh, more likely to end your life. Uh, clearly, now I have a third option. Uh, all right, let's let's see, Baron. Come here. No, you can you can. Just... Um, I'm gonna walk over to him and go trust him, feathered brother. It'll be good. Hey, sweetie pie, cutie cake. Come here, and I'm like moving over towards Gaius. Don't you do it, Dracaria. Come here, and I'm all like. No. <laughs> he scampers off as he goes behind the bar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, this is exactly why I never slept with you. You guys are all idiots. All idiots. I'm an idiot? Yes. Mr. I've made monsters? It takes a genius to make a monster. That's true. Is that how that works? We, no, I don't think so. That also so. could be true. I really don't. Stupid people don't make monsters. They are it the takes monster. a monster to make a monster. N- that's also true. That's also true. I'm mm-hmm. fine with that. I thought sometimes like horrible accidents make monsters as well. And that's it takes wisdom true. not to make a monster. It takes what? Wisdom and intelligence not to make a monster. No, intelligence to make one, wisdom not to make a monster. So everyone's making good points. See, I just don't have the wisdom. I got the intelligence for it. I should know not to do it. I just do it anyways. Well, I guess I should. <laughs> yeah. Well, well he's know. he's fine for the time being. I'll, I'll hold on to it then. Oh my gosh! Just go grab him. You're just cranky old man, aren't you? Today? Yes. I've been in this stupid sun for multiple days, and we're starting to start a war. We're all bickering. Yeah, right. third option. Yeah, he called me stupid. You need to fix his brain. Oh, oh, great! Now I have four people I need to talk to. This is great. This is fantastic. Go touch someone and touch me tomorrow. <laughs> Go dump there. <laughs> is that how he meant for that bit? I, I don't. I don't think that's how he meant for it. Um. You yeah. just hear a whisper. Uh, for, for about for a little bit of an hour, uh, guys attempts to try and pull Baron to his side to help him out, but Baron is being very very stubborn. Uh, but eventually, they uh, guys does persuade him and uses his another uh, and casts another greater restoration spell, bringing it, this this somewhat intelligent light back to Baron's eyes. Instead of being this dull animal, he goes. Oh. He, uh, he blinks. Why the fuck did my back hurt? Close to the door. He stands up and stretches. Like, don't get stuck in there. Don't, don't go in there then. Yeah. I don't want to hear that to you, though. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> Why? <laughs> he fucks his. Why are these out? What the hell happened? This is Baron. Up to the, uh, yeah. yeah. I point up above, uh, the cathedral there. What the fuck is that? He, yeah. He's practically leaning over the rail, wide eyed and, and, and slack jawed. What the fuck happened to our home? What the hell is this? John, isn't that awful? I, I feel like, you know, I finally hear Baron yelling. Um, Albie just misses not being the dumbest person. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, damn, it's me again. (laughs) I'm the stupid one. (laughs) You got me. (laughs) Varen's actually stupid than you, I think. He what? I think Varen has a lower intelligence than you do. I have minus one. I have an eight. So is he. Hey! <laughs> stupid feather brother. brother. Yeah! <laughs> stupid feather brother. Stupid feather brothers. At least you're not the ugliest on the ship. That's so that's, that's fair, brother. yeah. Who is the ugliest one? I think everyone has a high charisma score. <laughs> I have a zero. Uh... <laughs> I think you actually are. 
I, I, hey, if looks don't have to deal with it. No, it, it's 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 it can be it can be language, it can be communication. It's how you interact with people. That's charisma. Everyone assumes that you have a high charisma score. You're like. She's Super also mom. the only bird person that anyone hangs out with, so I feel like that does not come <laughs> that's down a, a couple well, pegs. <laughs> hey, if he's the hot bird guy, that's busted. Well, that's not fair. I feel like the hottest one on the ship, though, is Cloud. <laughs> oh, the fucking head. He doesn't have a body, so, you know, he just swoos everyone with his words. Is he the... He's the little octopus. The, yeah, the, the octopus. He's the octopus. Oh, yeah, yeah, he just cleans... He helps us out, please. Hell, yeah. Yeah. He's not, even, he's not bitter big. about things. He's cool, dude. Dude just takes it. Takes I made it. it. The guy after takes the, it like water. After uh, the war, water. like I, I told him, I was like, I'll, I'll give you a body at some point. Just you know, let us finish this. And he's like, okay. Yes, Abari. <laughs> well, would it help if she said well, cool? Sorry, it's you. Know, Ooh, nice friend. If uh, keeps me going. Not hit her, but like yeah. touch her with um, what was this thing called? Damn it, my um. Lay on hands. Uh, not the exhaustion at all. Lay on hands does not help with exhaustion, unfortunately. Barnet. It helps with diseases, poisons, and overall health, but exhaustion's a whole other thing. Yeah, I have less restoration. That's fair enough. Yep. Oh well. It's a fifth level spell. I'm pissed off, grouchy, hot man, old man. That's in the body of a young man. That doesn't make me feel better. <laughs> um. You only need another day as you pass over the peak of Cathedral. How do you wish to ascend into Hope? How do I do what? How do you wish to descend into Hope? As you pass the apex. Oh, we're flying over the apex? You're flying way up here, and even then, you still feel whatever this fucking sun is. Okay. You know, I'm not making decisions anymore. I'm a grouchy old man. If you guys want to hear from me, you're going to ask me. Exactly. You're going to ask me questions. And you don't want to ask me questions right now. So. Is this a different day? Yes. This this is the next day. Going from the center out to any of the other cities is only a day. Okay. By foot. And you have a tailwind. We're not making. There's no extra con save with that. Uh, or you seem to notice that the long, the longer you stay within this area, close to Cathedral, it seems to come in waves. Gotcha. Like a couple of days go by, and it it's oppressive. I'm trying to not make the technical aspect, but it's like sitting in a long term microwave. Yeah. On ten percent. Gotcha. You're slowly baking. That's gotcha. exactly gotcha. what's going. That's technically what's going. Okay. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the asshole that's watching us from the outside? Um, but you do eventually come over Hope. Uh, how do you wish to descend? Should we just uh, bring the ship down? I don't think we should take the ship down. Leave the ship up? Okay. Leave the ship up. I can fly us down. I mean, there are three ASMR. And we're strong enough to carry probably two people. Uh, sounds good to me. Uh, in the meantime, you guys hit you with a great restoration. You're fine. No? Guys. Oh, when did this happen? Did this happen? Another big one. Oh, nice. I feel better. Right. Yeah. There's still that, that weird... There, there is no night. It's perpetual day. Uh, especially as you're so close to this secondary sun. There's not going to be any way for us to sneak down into us. Like, we need... Cool. I can cast the visibility. Nihilus can cast the visibility. I can get down there just fine. But then that, but the question is, how do we get back? I, who cares about getting back? How, this, is a, this is a big ship, man. We, we, it's it's nice. I kind of want to, like, keep this. I'm going to attach to it. You you got plans for after this big war? Retire? Let's get to that point first. Yeah, and I'd like to retire on a boat. Well, park the boat way out there and then walk into Hope. I mean, maybe the dark mark. <laughs> don't have a better idea. I'm gonna jump off the ship. I mean, technically, we can fly all of you down. The, the question gets is how do we? You even said we can turn invisible. Why don't we just turn invisible and fly down? So I can oh, cast yeah. invisibility on other people. I mean, I, I 
can cast in like five people. Okay, Mr. I'm a cool fucking wizard. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> w word. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> who's who's your patron again? I like point to the dead dragon. Yeah. He's like standing sitting on the side <laughs> of the ship. <gasps> <laughs> on that note, <laughs> yes, he is. And don't do it. Uh, oh, I can cast a spell slot, and I can target another creature. Mm -hmm. I can't cast it very high, though. No, but every, target... every up level it goes up a creature. Okay, so you can cast it pretty high, and I can at least cast it on like one or two people. You should be able to get everyone invisible. Okay, we'll do it that way. Yeah, yeah. We'll, fuck it, we'll go for the ship. Um, you notice that Holgoth still looking sickly. Not Hol uh, yes, Holgoth. But so is Kotok. Yeah, it's a hot fucking sun. Not in the way you expect. It's almost like he's aging and rapidly. And he's dying. He is... He was at his apex. This seven foot five turtle of just muscle and mass. It, he almost looks like the first time you saw him. All those months ago, where he was, he was hunched over. He was smaller, not in solid condition, but looks like he could still kick your ass. What's your problem? I don't know. I'm dying. I guess. Congratulations. Already? You haven't even done anything. Something's draining me. I mean, I've felt this since. Second this... son. See everybody when you get rid of that thing. No. It, no. We're too concerned about going to hope. No. It's not, it's not that thing. I know that thing isn't affecting me. It's something else, and that's what bothers me. I've felt like this since we left, what'd you call it, Hamlet? Something was draining my, my strength from it back then. I don't know what, and it's been doing that since then. Is that us? Oh, I'm sorry, I like to keep my personal business personal. I'm sorry if I didn't explain my life story to you already. Wait, oh, so Mr. something's Big draining Dragon. you? Why is something draining you? Where do you feel like this draining you? Gee, if I had the problem? answer, I would know that I would solve that damn problem. I don't know. You want to see if you can come back to life? I know I'm going to. I'd rather better not do that. It's a painful experience. Considering we ripped you out of the bag of holding, I, I, I would have to agree with that. Yes, I'd much rather not be born like that again. <laughs> <laughs> that was a traumatic experience. <laughs> you were the Hamlet. Hey, hey, Nets, you, you birthed Kotak. <laughs> I'm legit the father of monsters. Holy shit, call me daddy. <laughs> okay, are we... Uh, on that note, I guess we turn him god then. God of monsters. Absolutely not. I'm not gonna accept godhood. Yeah, I feel like that would be bad for most. No offense. I'm gonna turn everyone into a monster then. No, I ain't going anywhere. I, I'm, I'm fucking tired. Huh? Okay, <laughs> we. Got this. Yeah, no, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, well, enjoy the ship. Have fun. You know, stay safe up in the sky. Click. Are we? Are we ready? Uh -huh. Let's uh, go, Gaius. Nihilus. hits you, Jakari, with another with his second great greater restoration. You're fine. Nihilus. Mm -hmm. Cast your spell. Um, I will cast your spell. Varen, being the stronger of the three, uh, hoops Nihilus, Jakari, under his arms and puts you, Nux, onto his shoulders. Um, Gaius uh, hefts you. Aldi onto his arm and Avaria is on her own. Um, well, uh, now you cast invisibility, which I think should cover everyone. It's a second level spell, I guess. Second, you get to cast another person. And you cast it on yeah, whoever you fifth can. level because you're a warlock. So that's Innately, so that's pretty one, solid. Two, three. Four, four people? Four people, and there's six of you. Two, four, and I can cast it at fourth level. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I can cast mine at sixth, or at fourth, so I can cast it on three people. 
That should one, two, three, plus this one, it's seven. So there's one person left. Someone's gonna be short. Who do we want to be short? Uh, I can hmm? not cast it on myself and just use the sky cell. Uh, blend into the city that way. Or you could cast on one of the Azmars to blend them in like a, one of the city guards. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Send cast on Ava since she's not holding it. Uh, it's the sky itself. It's not the sky building. I'm sorry. Uh, well, now we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ava can disguise self as one of the city guards. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Ava. There you go. Huh? <laughs> you're going to uh -huh. be the only one not invisible, and you're going to disguise yourself as a guard because we can't cast invisibility on all eight people. You can only cast on seven. Okay, done. Done. All right. You have your plan. You lock the ship in place. Bid farewell to the dragons. Bound off the ship with your winged friends holding you as you descend from your high perch far above the city and descend closer and closer to the ground. Um, uh, oh, yes. Hey, Azimar fires. Try to be stealthy. I mean, we're flying, so... Sure? I mean, don't... I mean, you are invisible, too, but I just mean... They can still hear us. That should go for everyone. Um, you descend further and further, and you see that the architecture of Hope is very pristine. White houses, rounded structures, lots of open rooftops. Um, several uh, clear water pools adjacent to specific structures um, litter the city. In the center, you see this this large edifice of a, of a nine-pointed star uh, in the center of this town. However, there is something off about the city. <laughs> the citizens you come across are in two ver are in two different conditions. There is a large population of Asomar of different species. There are gnomes. There are halflings. There are human looking Asomars. There are elven Asomars. There are Asomars come in different form races. There are even Goliath. And, uh, oddly, the occasional teeth. Hmm. You notice that the other half of this town's population are slaves. But in good condition. They're healthy, they're vibrant, they all have chains and collars and and uh, and uh, and ankles but they're clothed very well clothed even not dirty in the slightest the city itself is near pristine uh Albert, uh could everyone make a quick perception check please yeah, i can try my rolls have been great look at that my life is Sorry, what? What check? Perception. I don't think you need to roll. That's a 15. I have a 15. Oh, I have a maximal. 18. Wow. Wow. 17. <laughs> With a natural one. With a natural <laughs> one, yep. Okay, so 17. 21. Okay. 18. 18? 15. 15. Um, Avaria, could you make a perception <coughs> check, please? Yes, sir. Did you roll? Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. I rolled high. I'd love to roll second uh, with a nap. One. Sir. Uh, if it helps, my passive is also your passive 26. Is, yeah, your passive is ridiculous. Whoa! Just caught you in your paying attention. Passive is really good for like sneaky things. 
So you. Uh, 14? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nux. Hello. As you are flying over city, scanning uh, the, the rooftops, seeing the citizens in oddly good condition, you notice something very, very wrong. In some of the far off alleyways near the near the, the high walls of this city, you notice bodies. Okay. Just like stacked in the corner? Um no, more like they lay against the walls of the outermost portion of this town. Oh, that's nice. As you get closer, you notice they're hollowed out. I'm the only one seeing, like... You're the only one rolled high enough. Oh, hollowed bodies. So no like... blood, no, vis <sighs> no viscera, just... Like a cicada or a moth that molted from its, uh, from its skin. Uh... I mean, if I can see that they're hollowed out, can I see their races? It's a lot of the primary races. So I'm guessing they shedded their normal forms and broke free with their asomorphomes like beautiful butterflies! Or maybe. Mm -hmm. You have an eyebooker and I really want to get it. Okay, I'm going to that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. It has been done. Uh, you eventually do touch down in... I, I do tell the group in my group chat. Mm -hmm. This is what I see. I assume these things. Um, you do eventually touch down uh, off from the main street, um, but somewhat nearby. Far enough away from commerce where you can touch down quietly enough and not cause a disturbance. Excuse me. Waiting for that one for fucking ever, Jesus. Um, guys is the first to perk up. This doesn't look right. Oh yeah, they have T flank ASMRs. This is what you call making an army. Well, considering they made a lichen army, a lichen ASMR army. What? These are probably still there. This doesn't really. Like, you know, isn't all that far-fetched, I this guess? This definitely wasn't like this a year ago. It's even more at all. This wasn't like this. But here's the other thing. They can't go back to being whatever they were before. Because they shedded their skins. Now they're this. Yeah, that was not... As far as I know, ASMRs are only like us. Not... Like that. Uh, Ava, I don't think there's going to be a lot of civilians to save. Same. Well, there's probably more than likely a. Oh shit. Sorry, I like tripped in real life. Um... <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> As Ava falls in. Make a deck save! Oh <laughs> <laughs> I guess your dad would be the best bet, then. Yeah, uh, did you- uh, hang on, did your brother uh, ever- uh, Did you <laughs> Do we know- What? <laughs> Do we- 
I, I was saying about a cadaver because I'm holding the straw to the cat and being just an idiot. About a cadaver! Do we do we know where we're supposed to meet Ryver? Did we was that ever found out? I thought of already an S. Avaria, where's your brother? Um. Avaria, where's your brother? Oh, he's got his origin eyeless and just whispers in his ear. Can you ask him? <laughs> you didn't ask him to, like, where he was in the city? I did say, where are you? He said on the Hope Bridge. The Hope is like an entire city. Not my fault. I asked. He barely answered. <laughs> you siblings communicate greatly. 25 words. 25 words. He was, le he was reaching his limit. Um, <clears throat> so, you guys are currently within hope. What would you like to do now? I tried to find her brother. Okay. Um, <laughs> as most of you are currently invisible, you have a little bit of time. Uh, would you like to just scatter and search, or stick together? Uh, <laughs> can Ava and Nihilus do their... Drain blast! <laughs> it's just, we just, we're, we're just communicating, that's it. <laughs> sure. It's really simple, yeah. <laughs> sure, it is more than my brain can fathom, okay? It's just go simple. Let's. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're simple. Hey, fuck you, I create monsters! <laughs> okay. Um. Avari, you and Nihilus link up again and send out another sending. Uh, the contact driver, what would you like to say? On your bridge, where the fuck are you? Straight fuck you and kisses. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your hugging kisses. Okay. Uh, he responds pretty quickly. Okay, love you too. Find me at the Black Mirror Inn. That's all, that's all you get back. To the Black Mountain! Okay. Okay, where's that? Follow me! I can, I can do these things. Um, as you're walking through town, the citizens are definitely strange. They... They're fairly optimistic, kind to one another. Um, you do notice that there are some guards dressed in ruby red armor and are, are fairly stoic, uh, but they're only in certain pieces of the main, of this main street, the main thoroughfare. Um, you do eventually come across the Black Mirror in a, in another oddball in this city. The fact that the majority of the structures are these smooth, white, rounded structures. This is sheer black and angular. It stands out as compared to the rest of this town. Um, it's also vaguely empty. Um... <clears throat> I don't like how empty this is. I was gonna say something weird. I was gonna be like, I don't like how empty you are. Well, I'm more full than you will ever be. That's disgusting. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Stone giant left his rock babies. <laughs> Wait, what? Stone giant left his rock babies. Uh, <laughs> How about finishing inside and having kidney stones? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Even got Josh with that one. Yeah, oh, talk, about, talk about some inner rattles. Yeah. Don't need to do some Kegel exercises with that one. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can maybe turn diamonds into, you know, pull into diamonds. Oh. Probably. That's some grip strength. Kegel strength! Diamond. I mean, she is great in bed, so. And you're, you know... Phoenix, so you're hot. So. 
with enough pressure into my force. Um, Are we maybe getting off topic here right now, guys? I'm talking about Dracarium making, diamonds, <laughs> out vagina, <laughs> <laughs> making diamonds out of her vagina, not off topic at all. We're going to try and keep this conversation down since we're still invisible. Um, <clears throat> it was all in the head, baby. All in the head. Ah, oh, fair point. As you're examining uh, this black mirror oh, in shit. a literal mole in this pristine white town, you look inside, there is one person. An older man, not ASMR in any way, standing behind the bar, simply wiping down a mug. What is he trying to do? Keep the rest off of it? Are we still invisible? All of us are, except for Ava. She looks like a town guard. Right. <laughs> Bless me, Bannon. <laughs> I don't know. What's the saying that they have? What is this bless? What is the blessing that they have? I'm just gonna watch her just interact with this man. Wait, should I know that? Actually, I'm scared. Should I know that? You should. You've lived in Cathedral most of your life. Cool. Um. Yeah. Could you remind me? Um. Sure. Blessings be the holy light. Then all blessings be the holy light. Chip! <laughs> uh, I'm saying to the... I'm like... This old man. <laughs> Rustic. Crusty beard. Big bald spot in his head. Almost like a fryer tuck. Uh, shabby clothes. Looks at you, and you see that one of his eyes is actually vacant. There is no eyeball. He looks at you. Blessings and all that bullshit. What do you, what do you want? favorite drink. Interesting. Sorry, we don't serve that. Uh, well, that's gonna get you. He's still... What'd you say about his eye? One eye is just gone. It's hollow. Huh. There is just no eye in it. It's like Gaius. Hmm. Yeah, guys, is missing an eye. He has a scar down on his like, side of his face. Well, guy still has his eye, but it's just... Like, oh, he still has an eye? Well, I know he had an eye, but I didn't, I didn't like think he could see like through it. Right? He has an eye, but it's just a scar. Yeah, and that's all. I didn't think he could see through it. Yeah, no, he can't. No, yeah, so yeah. It's like, but this guy, he has no eye. Oh, no eye. So it's eyeball, just like a it's, socket. It's just an open socket. Gross. Nice. I like it. Can I... I'm not gonna put my finger in. That's childish. You can't. You're invisible. No. I definitely could if I'm invisible. Then that's even more reason to be like. Noise. What can can I do for What can I do for the guard today? Uh, I like. I'm like Ava. Take your disguise off and tell him about your brother. You whisper that in my ear. I tell it in your brain. It's okay. No, I make it awkward with all of us uh, like standing invisible still there, and I'm like Ava, just just take the disguise off. <laughs> In my head, is that cool with everybody? Yeah. Um, I took off the disguise. Now I'm just fucking around. Is Baron here? I'm sorry, is Robert here? <laughs> <laughs> is Baron here? Baron just looks at you like. What the, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Sorry, I got so many siblings, I just uh, mix them up sometimes. <laughs> wow. Uh, the keeper stops for a hot second, looks at you, uh, looks left and right, making sure that there's nothing else, trying to make sure there's nothing go- else going on inside. Looks up, leans back, looks out the window. I'm assuming your friends are here as well. 
Next turn, yeah. <coughs> he puts the glass, uh, this wooden stein back into um, the bar. And you hear us, and you hear a, a, what sounds like a rotate, like some several clicks, like something rotating. <laughs> he leans down and pulls a hidden hatch just next to him. Everybody in now. The more you dawdle, the more the guard can actually see. Well, we're all still invisible, so let's get in there invisibly. Okay. You all squeeze by the uh, the keeper as best as best as you can. Shuffle down. He waits for for a second, and then closes the door uh, behind you. Or seals the hatch. You climb down a set a ladder that seems to go down um, about 15 feet or so. Into, into a fairly dark room. No light, no torch, no windows. Just completely blocked, but you get this heavy waft of Rotten wine and mildew. Ah. It smells like home. Uh, Nux, you put your goggles on and you immediately see that there are four vampires. Hey. But they don't see you. <laughs> they see Ava. I just said. <laughs> hey. <laughs> They're like, they see the Ava, their, uh, their hands on their weapons. As you go, hey, who said that? Oh, my, uh, sorry, sorry, hold on. And it also definitely said smells like home. So this year, smells like <laughs> smells home. Like hey, home. like, what the fuck is happening? Right <laughs> <now>? <laughs> you see, Ava just walked out there. What is happening? Oh, sorry. Uh, hey, Nihilus, turn off the invisibility. Oh, uh, you're cool. I can just, yeah, <laughs> I shake myself. Oh. <laughs> Um, all of you reappear uh, as the invisibilities are, disp are dispelled. You notice that uh, some of the vampires are somewhat familiar. One being Baron Von Streeter himself. Okay, but please tell me my favorite character from that arc is still there. Um, <laughs> I think there's something to talk to. You, <laughs> you do see uh, on the far wall a familiar full set of black metal armor. <laughs> I get more excited just going to that one. I'm like, you guys can deal with the vampires. He waves his hand. The, the, the figure waves his hand, doesn't make a single noise. <laughs> hey! Excellent. Yeah, you all actually arrived here a lot faster than I expected. Hi, Baron. Hello. How are you? I'm not melting. <laughs> we're trying not to. Yeah, we're trying not to stay. Ava hates that. Side too her long. brother did it. Understandable. This I don't care. The home, the front. Yeah, and the wife. They're pregnant. I think, oh, I don't know, maybe. How sweet. Uh, yeah, we've had four more with us. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. So, you guys are right. like, yeah, definitely it's a, it's busy a, in the chief. Ah, uh, right. Um, it's been about 200 years since the last time we met. Time dilation in the shop, though. Yes. Wow. I didn't realize time was so different. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Luckily. You can come out now. As he calls out, and a figure, fully cloaked, walks out from behind the barrels. Uh, the figure pulls their head, uh, their hood back, and you see long, jet black hair, a full black beard, but the familiar stance of Driver Vastor. I run over to him, pop a kiss on him. A nice big, thick one. Oh my bad, that's before the Ava can even run. <laughs> 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 <I love that. laughs> Without missing much of a beat, he actually embraces you and returns it. Does he like grab him, grip of the ass? He grabs and holds on. 
Rabbass. I like that game. Um, but he does eventually break it and get you back down. He picked me up? Yep. Oh, well, then my legs wrapped around him. <laughs> he still pulled away, like, okay, I think it's going to be good enough for you to let go of that. You're probably making her a little embarrassed. Who? I'm not embarrassed. You probably haven't gotten any ass in a hundred or years. You notice that he is definitely older. Thing you saw him. Last time you saw him, he seemed mm. barely into his 30s. Mm -hmm. Now he seems like he's at least in mid 60s. He's like a George Clooney. Wow. So oh, now you're like robbing the cradle. Man. He's like a. I'm no, okay with no, that. No, 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 yeah, he looks like he's in his 60s. He looks about as old as your dad the last time you saw him. Jeez. What happens when you're in the berserker oh. armor? Okay, I'll get down now. Thank you, I appreciate it. He looks over to you, Ava, and very calmly but confidently, he walks over to you and give and gives you a, a very firm hug. Oh, brother! I'm sorry. It's been a long time, little one. I haven't seen you in years. Oh, long story short, I think I spent centuries in the Shadowfell, got possessed by something, got released by something, you saved me, and I spent another 30 years in Shadowfell before I walked through a white tree. Luckily, that was before the Dark Marshes were flooded. I managed to make my way here. Luckily, I also took a portion of that tree with me. That's actually how I was able to get our old friends here. Thank you for doing that, and I'm happy you didn't die before getting over here. Look at you, you're an old man. You're not that old. Yeah, I may be old, but, you know, I could probably still beat you in an arm wrestling match. Okay. I definitely would pay money to see that. You might be me in an arm wrestling match, but you got nothing on me when I have Pike in my hand. And you sound like Dad. Great. So, <laughs> suppose you're, who's this? As he looks at you, I don't remember you. Oh, my name's Albatross. Oh, he's new. Yeah. Has he been helping? Yeah. Is he okay with the fact that the world's about to end? Yep. I mean, it's okay as anybody can be with that, right? Sure. I mean, considering you're drunk all the time, like, he's a great party buddy. Like, we go at it sometimes, and he's amazing. He many the best contests. party buddy. Yeah, I thought that I'll bring some of my friends and a couple of the vampires. I actually start, I actually chuckle under their breath like the word. I'd take you on. Sorry, we'll save it for after the world. Challenge goes. accepted. When this is all over. <laughs> well, it depends on, you know, if they actually don't burn alive. Yeah. Yeah. I've, been fi son. I've been finding that that is uh, a part of... It's also why I called you here. Whatever that is... It's a second son. They created it. Yeah. From what I've found... It's their attempt at a gateway. Couldn't get much more than that, but I can assume that it's a gateway to try and let Bannon back out. And it's only been getting bigger. See? Like I said, we need to destroy that thing. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Been saying that all along. Ah. If you know me, you set, you set me loose and I'll just go do it. Well, how do we have anything to destroy? Yeah, I don't want you to die in the process. How do we but destroy a sun, though? And that's exactly the issue. How do we destroy something like that? You know, no punch it? No, you, you just implode it. Just spell magic. Just dump. That, I mean, at high enough levels, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah dump. It's magic. Obviously. I don't know. Well, obviously it's magic, yeah. but then how are we supposed to dispel it? Uh, it's also probably planar magic, so you probably also go to, like, you know, banish it, dimension door. Mm. Oh, yeah. Things like that. Yeah. That or you just kill the power source. What's the power source? I don't know, but I can find it. 
that's exactly why I don't know. That's why exactly why I don't know. You know, it's probably in the center. Dead fucking center. Probably. And it's probably also where, you know. Hey, uh, how far is, is, uh, is Cathedral more than a thousand miles away? No. Uh, it's 50. It's a day's journey. Uh, Ava Gaius. Yeah. Wait, us! What's us, it? Us! Yes? Brother, I have big news. What is it? I just gave him my, my left hand so he can look at my ring. <laughs> oh. You didn't get married to Alistair, did you? No. no. Absolutely not. No. He he kind of went crying back to mommy and daddy, I think. And he's kind of actually been... He's currently, in fact, engaged to uh, Genta. Magenta? Fucking uh, Genta. That makes too much sense. Magenta? A weird name. Um, oh, that's, that's bad. I can yeah. send an echo a thousand feet out. Well, then you should probably send your echo to figure out where the fuck that power source is of that thing. If I do, someone's needing to hold my body because it basically turns into a ragdoll. Wait, did you say a thousand feet? A thousand feet, a thousand miles. It's a thousand feet. Is it a thousand feet? Yes. I was like, I don't think I can do that. You cannot do miles. So I was like, how far is Cathedral? Uh, if it's 50 miles. It's, a, it's at least If it's a miles. mile, I can't, yeah. Yeah. The only thing that can go that far is Core Points. <laughs> and even then, that wouldn't get that far along the bridge. Yeah, you basically have to use it like I do and, like, yeah, it's only cast it yeah, up so it's like, somewhere I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get a bird's eye view. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah, how you, like, is like a mile, a cheat miles that away. distance, yeah. Um, Never mind. <clears throat> Sorry. Like, if I look a mile upward. Hey, at least stride. Then I get, like, a good radius. Thought process that counts. Yeah. Five thousand feet of viewpoint. Mm -hmm. Really good call. Yeah. Everything looks like ants from that distance. But... <laughs> and fishbowl. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> you gotta get a good all around. Yeah. Good lay of the land. It's uh, like um. There's this map that like would make a map in like the dirt and everything. It was like auto updating. So if you like broke a dam, it would like show you the new course of the river and all that. Something. Okay. Uh, uh, it's like that, but. So then, Ava. Who exactly did you get married to then? I believe he's in this no. room. <laughs> uh, Gaius sheepishly raises his hand. As confident as you've seen Gaius become over time, he's incredibly sheepish. <gasps> Gaius, don't be afraid. It's okay. He's shot. You can. Well, if it isn't little well, G. Hmm? Well, don't smoke in the past year. Uh, a. Okay, hold on. She actually can't touch level eight, eight spells. Each she can upcast to eight, but she can not I can upcast to eight, but that's it. Um, Ryber walks over to Gaius, looming over him. How tall is Gaius? Six two. Five two. Sorry, six three. <laughs> Five two. <laughs> the man's a short king. Ryber, Ryber has him by a good couple of inches. But it, he gives the office this dark. And then Ryan was Shurky. Lord Farquaad. Lord Farquaad. It is Lord Wyvra. Do not address me that way. I'm Lord Wyvra. I'm not the short king. I'm the vampire king. Makes himself fly. He steps down off of a box and just is two feet shorter. <laughs> His cape just covers him. <laughs> Drives behind him. Come on. Ryber looks okay. down at Gaius. A very stern look in his eyes. But then his smile returns and he extends out an arm. Gaius shakes it softly and Ryber <laughs> grips it and Shakes it firmly. Welcome to the unfortunate family, son. The un <laughs> the unfortunate family. The yeah, stores are not exactly the good family anymore. Uh, guys can't exactly find words. All right. Uh, we'll put an arm on her brother. Don't worry, bro. He'll assist us to make this family better again. 
Perhaps let's start on our plan of attack, no? You also notice that Varen is incredibly quiet. Uh, Ryver goes over to Varen and pats his head. And you see little tears actually come up from Varen's face. Um, <clears throat> but Ryver uh, slings his arm over Varen's shoulder, walks him back into the center. Right. So. Destruction of the sun? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Hopefully we can figure something out. We have other vampires in the city. They're holding up, trying to find what hide places to hide they can, and then feeding on non asmrs whatever the hell those mutants are. Um, I'm supposed to get like repost in a couple days. They, they resolve. Whatever. That's gonna be tough. Why? Please. Um, from what we've gathered, Resolve is filled to the brim with those red guard. With the who? With what? The red guard. Okay. All I know is that this, if, if you try to attack them, they start giving off holy magic. And they start sprouting fur and ghrelin again. So. Oh, that totally sounds like the lichens that they created. I'll go deal with Excuse it. Excuse me? Yeah, they created ASMR lichens. I'll go deal with it. That's disgusting. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, you gotta take care of that. Does anyone else want to come with me? Uh, I'm going. What? Who said that? Right. Oh. Oh! I'm going. <laughs> That's an abomination. That does not deserve to be part of our bloodlines. Oh, well, it does. It. What? What does then? Us, <laughs> as he points to oh. him, to himself and his siblings. We are true ASMR. What's been going on is not right. Mm, yes, that makes sense. People are molting because of this. Ew. Ew. Why'd you have to say it like that? That's so gross. Ew. <laughs> Plus, there's a laboratory out over in Resolve that's actually creating these red guard. Yes? It's 25 feet tall. Oh, but do you want me to just click it on and have it walk with them? It'll figure out a way. It's like I can't teleport that thing. Um, watch out, he's dangerous. I don't want to blow up my city. Okay, aside from resolve being an issue, what else do we have going on? We have another little army coming in from Heft. What do you mean? They're coming in from Heft, <laughs> so they'll be... You mean the Foundry? Yeah. Yeah, so... At least so, the should thing. they be coming on uh, Prosperity or Pious? I thought that we were going to choose Pious. We're going to choose Pious? Yeah. Well, now I'm thinking, well, because Faith is out, right? Yeah. Faith is destroyed, yes. So, is Pious a better way for them to come, or Prosperity? <laughs> it's, close to the, it's close to the main highway. Which one? Pious. Pious? It's closest to the main highway. Is Faith destroyed for, like, any reason? Um... I find it super as far as from according to rumors, this group called Coalition destroyed it. I just find it funny that the first thing that they, wow. the first one they took out was Faith. It's funny, you know, because mm. Faith. I don't know. see the irony of it? I don't know. Okay, well, anyways. I don't have, I haven't been here long. I, I'm still catching up with history. So I'm assuming you can be very sneaky, Vampire Boy? I can make do. He readjusts his neck and his his hair shifts uh, white. His uh, skin turns slightly tan. His beard uh, trims itself down. He looks like him is like kind of like Baron, but with more beard and a little bit more refined. Yeah, that was totally sexy. Yeah, he 
unfortunately, the sun still does whatever it does. Mm -hmm. The only thing I've been noticing is that it makes all the other... So are you ace tomorrow? Are you vampire? Are you neither? Or are you both? I'm not a vampire anymore. You saw that problem. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. What happened to that turn? Oh, he's on the ship. He's dying. You have a ship? Yeah, we have a ship. It flies. It flies. It flies. You have a flying ship. Yep. Yeah. Took me about a month to make. Okay, 200 it's years of the fucking perfect flying ship. Yes, all right. I love our flying ship so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yep, <laughs> it's the, my favorite monster. <laughs> One thing's gonna work. All right. Um. Okay, so we should. Oh, so uh, just to give you a game plan on what's actually happening. Um, the rest of the world, uh, or whoever else wanted to honestly join and try to stop the end of the world, uh, is joining up. And uh, so as of that's what the that call was. Yeah. Okay. And then as of, I would say this morning. Heft is now marching with an army, but they're disguised as a refugee camp, and they're going to... Yeah, it's actually your sister. Now your sister was smart. Really? Yeah. yeah she actually started like, thinking like a general. She was smart. She was, act she was actually acting very in charge. Oh, I'm surprised. Once they get into the town, they're going to start the war, and you need to start the war at the same time. Um, so that shouldn't be a problem. Ava has a sending stone that will communicate with. What's his name? Uh, his name is Saipeng. Um, I guess you're coming with me. I want to see what's going on. Resolve. Uh, any, anyone else? Volunteer for tribute. Just me and Ryder. So me and you are going over. A couple bridges over. I want to join. You built a ship that will never touch the sea. Never get wet, never swim <laughs> too deep. We built a ship that can go anywhere. A ship that floats on air. <laughs> That's awesome. I bet you thought we were a jet when we were safe that, but we can <laughs> fucking fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? You, 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 you want to come? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, question. Yes. Do you know of a um? Yeah. Like a, Secret way to get into the city or through our house. I guess anything that helps us with this thing. I cast disguise. Well, I have I have a disguise self add. Okay. Okay. The only way that I can think of is to go through the old sewer system, which isn't exactly a sewer system anymore. It's more like a runoff after the lake dried up. The water just stops. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Which is surprising because we still have running water in the city. Let alone in the cathedral. Don't know how that's working. No. Have any of you seen what what that thing <laughs> is beneath cathedral? No, not really. How do people too full of down that actually I'm afraid to. Now right. that you mention it. Not yet. Yeah. I'm surprised no one's ever actually found it. I haven't kind of been to Cathedral a lot, so No, I know. You're not from here. You couldn't do it that actually. Uh okay, so you guys have fun for the next like two days. Nihilus, have fun teaching children sh stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, that's great. Uh, you probably want to say goodbye to your sister, because once you see her again, it's going to be wartime. And your brother. Then we're leaving. I'm going to... Jakari, if you want to say bye to anyone. Because after this, this starts the endgame. I'm going to reattune to Hat of Disguise and be attuned to Ghost Step. Okay. <coughs> Necessary. <laughs> I mean, I thought the plan was for everyone to go over to resolve. Okay, then yeah. Uh, well, I I thought we were gonna see if there's a way that we could get into the city. Who did that happen? Well, they noticed first. 
We are in the city. Well, it was more so of gain. No, we're not. We're on the we're on bridge, bridge, I guess, There's into a... the city. Yeah, Ava was asking if there was a, a secret way to get into the cathedral. Well, that, it seemed like the, that the day store So this is a mega city, right? Because that's what I I thought every bridge was like a city of its own. Yeah, it's like it's a metropolis. Yeah. It's so a, we're it's in the city of Hope, metropolis. but we're just not in cathedral. But we're in cathedral. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. yeah. Cathedral as a whole is considered yes. a giant metropolis. So are you saying like sneaking into the like, like the center? Yes. The center yes, is where, Cathedral like, Hall. The Astor yeah. family home would be. I didn't think we're going there until the army showed up. It's like, I thought that was the, like the original plan. Do you remember the Golden City? So just a massive fuck off city in the middle of the world. Am I getting it? Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's like yeah, we're seeking the royal uh, palace. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But we know exactly what we're getting. It's like, it, so are they are they going to this? Are, uh, is is that what they're doing? Ava, is that what you're doing? Then? They're uh, Ava, 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 uh, uh, Ava wanted to know a secret way into Cathedral rather than just the main bridges. And I'm assuming it's got to be underneath in the sewers and stuff. And that's exactly so what Ryder said. Uh, that's you, have to, idea, you have yeah. to, you have to, you have to go through the through the yes. old sewer system. And he's like, yeah, have you seen one what's of a, you see what's going on underneath all this shit? That shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what's going to fall off? You're scared of that? I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> no, yeah. Thanks. I'd rather not have that knowledge, well, well, actually. Well, well, well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go with um, yeah, yeah, let's to do all though. Um, to see what help I can do there. Where are we going? To an orphanage. That's uh, nice. The Highwind oh. Orphanage is in Cathedral proper. Oh, that's where Guy's thing is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah. you guys should do that. Yeah, we're gonna help them out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll have to catch up with that. Husband, do you want me with you for that? Husband. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, actually, why don't you go help your brother? Yeah, I hate kids. Okay, bye. Yeah, this is bro time. Here now. We're having bro time. Oh, shit. Me and guys have bro time. <laughs> no. Bro trip. It's gotta... cute. <laughs> so then, where does that leave me? As Varen chimes up, uh, I don't know. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see my brother alive. Um... Where do you want to go? It's up to you. You have free will. I mean, sure, I'll help my brother-in-law, I guess. Yes. Good. Uh, Albie, where would you like? What's the spot so far? We have four of them going to the orphanage. You have Gaius, Varen, Nihilus. Oh, three. Going to Cathedral proper. Yeah. To look into a orphanage that used to be where guys lived back in cool. Um You have but Nux. Like, scaled it now. <laughs> it's just like you have Nuxenor, Avaria, and the new compatriot uh, com uh, companion Ryder. They're going to um, resolve, which apparently is creating uh, what he calls the Red Guard, or these humanoids dressed in ruby red armor and as he described they are as your friends actually interrupted are like and thrill asmr okay we've got twenty thousand orphans ready for, for ready for combat and another two million <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> just like the, the grand scaled up orphanage just like oh god <laughs> i think i'm gonna head with them then okay cathedral what sounds hell? fun uh, with the oh, okay. with the group going to the orphanage. Orphanage. Yep. He said bro time, and I was like, yeah. I'm in. <laughs> okay, so we have Nuxenor, we have Avaria, we have Dracaria, we have Ryver going to take out Resolve. Wife is like, can I come with? Husband's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to take care of my own shit. Yes. <laughs> uh, we then have Albatross, we have Nihilus, we have Baron and Gaius going to cathedral uh, cathedral center to find and look into uh, the high wing orphan and we are going to find out what happens next week Perfect. as I have some planning to do Hell yeah. <laughs> don't you hate that yeah that means I'm going to have to hold like two different sources of combat at the same time it's great yeah. sick 
That's what. I, that's what I thought. Everyone's gonna go to resolve, and then and then we're like, no, we're gonna split up. Wait, huh? Split multiple split. times. Josh split. felt like this plan was split. never actually split. gonna split. in action. <laughs> that's why I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Because Gaius, he, Gaius has a personal mission he needs to figure out. Love that for that But guy. we will be back here next Love week. Love that for that guy. <laughs> Hopefully life won't fuck us over. I will keep Twitter uh, included in all this, so keep track of that. Um, on that note, we have 135 followers. Wow. Wow. Hi. I am rather surprised that my number is continuing to climb. Thank you. I am kind of... Freaked out, actually. A little bit talking about it. It's a positive thing. Um, I'm going to try and figure out uh, days to uh, some other times to stream. See if I can try and get more into the game. I need to figure out how to set all that up through my laptop and see if I can try and get a game on that. Hopefully, I can try and get a blind playthrough so through Final Fantasy VIII. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. It's really blind, though. Yes, I've never played it. And hence why it's a blind playthrough. I just know of it. I want to stream Stray. <laughs> stream of Stray. I want to play that game so bad. PlayStation. If, if you get the if you get the PlayStation Extra subscription, you get it for free. Yep. Oh. My cousin played through the they... entire thing in six hours. Like man, it's a pretty wow. quick game. Yeah. So well, I wouldn't uh, expect yeah. it to be a long game. game. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bucks, yeah. yeah. But I mean, in general, like that is a beautiful game. Mm -hmm. The mechanics of like what I've seen of it. It's pretty neat. You're playing, cool. a, you're playing a damn cat. They see, they like, they grab like a, a damn cat. cat. Yeah. There's also another game that came out where uh, you're, uh, you're a mother fox, and you're uh, in charge of the last foxes on Earth. I, I didn't oh, think he was going to say fox. Yeah. I thought he was going to say motherfucker. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're the last motherfucker. You're the last motherfucker. You're the last motherfucker. You're this motherfucker. You're the last motherfucker on Earth. <laughs> That's, That's what I thought you were going with, and I was like, called, oh. It's called Angry. Angry yeah, I yeah. saw I saw cartoon play. It's like one. uh, it's like Hotline Miami, but first person. <laughs> but first person, then you, you just fucking like, you got you got <laughs> you a kick. dedicated button to like kick, and <laughs> it's really all you need. You like kick people and grab their guns and shoot people. You kick down doors and the doors go flying into it's people like, it's, and they die. What yeah. was that? What was that game? Hotline Miami. Yeah. No, heavy metal. What wasn't it? It was it was a it was a, a sci fi shooter. Uh, it didn't really go so well, but it, it, its major point was to kill people in the most gruesome ways to get to as, oh. get the highest score. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought yeah. you were talking about Mass Effect yeah. at first. Yeah, fuck no, Mass Effect is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, Don't ever compare that game to anything. No, you get one upside and you said a hi-fi shooter, and that song I was like, oh. But it's a sci-fi shooter, but it's more like guttural and heavy metal. Mm -hmm. I forget the name of it. Uh, uh, but... Oh, Mass Effect 4. Um, yeah. oh, maybe I'll do, Andromeda. like, yeah. RPG streams. I, I have Pathfinder the, the Kingmaker, uh, um, as well as Final Fantasy yeah, 9 like, on my docket. Like, like, oh, you haven't beat me yet. He's like, no, I never have. Was like, that explains the way you're up, like, CRPGs. Yeah, he's looking at me. Where Kingmaker is all about building a path. Have you been playing Jabalos? He's like, no. He's like, the same studio. That's... Nice, it's like yeah. dealing with a demon in baby. <laughs> well, I know that the the, the <laughs> console edition I just got, like, they have like, two different oh, yeah, sub garbage. branches like, that actually it. conject into uh, the, main, the main the main campaign. Of, I think one's like really a dungeon, really, yeah. and one's like pre game. Love them. I know that, that's yeah, three. Yeah, and yeah, like that, I think kind of five years ago. Now it's polished, all the bugs are fixed, and everything. It was fucking hard. It's fucking hard. Oh yeah, I'm on normal. I've got my ass kicked already. It's hard. I just really just find that. I have rolled like, so many fucking it, sixes, yeah. it's ridiculous. I have the only characters I have rolled that I that have actually managed to hit anything is uh, is Amiri, the barbarian, and my and my 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 character that I built. I tried to build build him like, exactly like Gaius, but it turned into just, just dual handing up on screen so like, with power attack, and he just one shots most most things, but he misses as he falls. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the Brandon of her generator during that was like, yeah. it's fucking brutal, yeah. man. Yeah. That, that RNG is awful. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's very heavily weighted towards yeah. the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. but, like I said, hopefully yeah. life yeah. will not kick yeah. us in the yeah. ass. Story we can't anymore than it already has. Right? Fucking um, fucking I will see if I can try and make up some game streams. I have a way to actually get it onto my current setup, which is. 
not okay, but it works. I would kind of wish I had another monitor, but I don't, but I'll work with it. Um, but yeah. You should play D&D games. Like, I have Pathfinder. Yeah. Pathfinder. Pathfinder, and then what's the other one that we sort of playing? <laughs> We're, we're, we're chatting the streams going on um i hope everyone's staying safe i hope everyone is staying healthy we will catch you guys next time so keep those 20s warm see ya. Bye. what is no no what is that game <laughs>